Yeah. Check it out. Are we live right now on Facebook? We are. Hey, good morning, Facebook. It's morning time. I'm not going to say what time it is right now. I'll let you look at your phone because I know it's in your hand and you're looking at it. <laughs> so, after this song finishes up, we're going to come on the air. So I'm getting an amazing record. time. I think so. Yeah, it's picking up. So we're also trying something new, and it's working. Where we're recording, go back to the other one, just let it run in the background. We'll just have to remember. We're recording this on Logic, which means we're able to just get the audio files at a high quality and edit and chop if we want to, which would be fun. So hopefully everyone's having a good morning. I'm super excited about today. We're about to have an awesome show. Kurt's going like elbow deep in this bag of chips that Dr. Chopper brought us. I know. Show the chips. Show I mean, the chips. What's going on over there? Did you even share with your homie? No, I have not because <laughs> I love these things. Made Man. with avocado oil. Gluten free. I could taste lime. I think the lime's in the in the sauce. The there's a sauce. place there's a place in uh, Austin called Picnic. Yes. And Picnic is was designed with by a family that had a child that had advanced food allergy issues. Mm-hmm. And um, everything that they cook, even the chips, are all made in avocado oil. All nice. their desserts, it's all healthy, Dr. Chopper friendly food. I mean, it desserts. is absolute delightful. I think you just said the magic word. We mm. got 31 seconds, 30 seconds now, and we're going to go on the air. We're going to have an awesome show today. We have Dr. Chopper in studio. We also have Chef Mary Bass in studio. Today is going to be a blast. Oh, I got the, my new gallon jug of water from H-E-B yesterday. Shout out to the homie H-E buddy. I kind of got him right there. I wanted to make sure he got some love. We got 10 seconds. I'm excited. <clears throat> Good morning. You're listening to K-H-E-A Radio 99.5 FM. This is Kickstart. I'm Guardy. And I'm Kurt. It is an awesome time. It is a beautiful day. We're about to have... Maybe the best kickstart show of all time. And let me tell you a couple of reasons why. One, we have chips in the studio. Woohoo! These aren't normal chips. These are something that is a little bit more health conscious. It's it's a little bit more healthy than I guess what we had been eating. And they taste amazing. Yeah, these are some of the best chips that I've had in a long time. And maybe just because I've been craving chips, but these are delicious. They, they taste exactly like chips, but they're not chips. They're they're grain-free tortilla chips. It's interesting. Grain-free. Grain-free. They have tree nuts. They uh, have flour, cassava flour, avocado oil, coconut flour. I mean, it's delicious. Whoa. Oh, sorry. Easy, Chris is easy. Tossing his background. So we got Dr. Chapa in studio. Dr. Chapa, how are you doing this morning? Man, if I was any better, I'd be twins. Ooh, Dr. I like Chapa that. is here. He is ready to rock and roll, and he's hoping everybody else is too. I am. Kurt, you ready to go? We're going to get into this. I'm ready. So, Kickstart, we're expanding. We're moving forward. We started 30 minutes earlier than normal, and I'm super excited to be able to do that because that that means more opportunities for us to bring awesome people in the community doing cool things like Dr. Chapa today. We got 30 more minutes of hangout time, talking out, and just having fun. Yeah, we're going to have a great show with uh, Dr. Chapa. We're currently doing a 21-day cleanse with dr aaron choppa um and we are on day 15 of the cleanse so we got about a week left next monday is our last time doing it and so far so good for both Gardy and i we, we have energy we have mental we're not, clarity we're, we're not having to eat all the time yeah well we are eating all the time we're just eating differently and eating different portions is what i have found so last night for dinner i had a bunch of vegetables and that's different. And you know what? Right now, I feel awesome. So even a week, it's been a week since we last talked to Dr. Chapa in studio. I feel a lot better today than I did last week. And Dr. Chapa, if you just want to say what's up, maybe shout out your website and tell people where to find information about yourself. Well, hello, everybody. My name is Dr. Aaron Chapa. I represent Living Well Clinical Nutrition Center, where we believe that all life starts and stops at the cellular level. And nutrition is the fundamental backbone that allows your body to thrive or causes your body to decline more rapidly than you ought. So we want to encourage everybody to visit our website at justlivewell.com. 
or uh, call our office at 281-554-8600. We're really excited everybody's going to be here today. We're excited about detox. I'm proud of these guys for doing the first detox and everything that they've shared with me uh, in their experiences thus far. So we're just excited about today. I'm glad to be here, guys. Thanks. Yeah, we're excited to have you. We're excited to just keep learning more and hopefully get some questions answered. Last, last week was awesome. People were calling in. People were asking questions on the live stream, and that's what we like to do. If anybody has any issues and you're watching on Facebook or you're listening over the air in your car or at your house or at work, please give us a call, 346-704-1806. Again, that number is 346-704-1806. You can also send a text message to that number. We will get that text right to my phone, right to Kurt's phone. We'll be able to get that question asked to Dr. Chapa, and then we'll be able to pass that information along to you. Or if you're watching on Facebook, just go ahead and, and ask there. Also, if you are watching on Facebook, I'm gonna ask you to do something right now. It's kind of hard and I don't know if, if y'all are gonna be able to handle it, but I think I need you to share this video because we all know people in our life that can use information like this. A lot of people are struggling with medication, with you know, even like depression, anxiety, you know, gaining weight, not understanding symptoms that are happen happening in, in your life, in your body. And we want to make sure that you have answers, something different than just like, hey, take this other medication. Let's take these seven to eight pills, you know, every two hours or however long. I don't know. But there's, there's another way. And that way is to treat your body with food, which is something Dr. Chapa said is like, it's nature's medicine. It is. It's an advanced medicine. It's the fundamental medicine. You know, we, we oftentimes reach to chemicals. We oftentimes reach to um, things that our body wasn't designed to, to work with. I was just listening to an audio book about water this morning, and it talked about in a 99, 1999 study where they found that the majority of the water supply that it, we're drinking in bottles and or off the tap is infiltrated with current pharmaceutical drugs that have been thrown into the toilet, been thrown into the sink, and wow. and, and and we wonder why we're having estrogen hormone disruptors mm -hmm. uh, floating into our bodies, and men are you know developing um, you know man boobs so to speak later yeah. in life, and how women have hormonal you know crashes all the time. These are all the, the the things that we're trying to teach people that there is a there are chemicals around us everywhere, and we have to figure out what to eat how to eat, what to drink, what not to drink. And like I say all the time, what you eat is important, but what you don't eat is more important. I have a question about the water. So yesterday, me and Kurt were looking at the ingredients in our water, and one of the most, it was kind of funny. So Kurt's bottle of water, what it straight up said was care. like, bottled public water supplies, Pasadena, Texas. And so literally what they did, and I guess there's nothing wrong with this, is they took a, went to Pasadena, turned on the faucet, and put it into a bottle of water and sold it to Kurt for, you know, a dollar plus. And then added sodium as well. Yeah, and what's up with that? Like, you know, sodium added into water, and I guess sodium is, is salt or partly salt? Yeah, yeah, I mean, so basically it's just like there's citric acid in that bag of chips, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, they're, 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 there's things that they have to do to it to make it balanced. I mean, okay. to go to a, pub, a, a river or a stream and get water from it isn't always, I mean, you would think it's healthy and fresh. Right. But they've done studies and they figured found that it's actually because of you know animal excrement because of sure, uh, yeah. dead animals carcasses upstream uh, you know this is polluting the water and this is why people get scarlet fever yellow fever rheumatic fever back in the day and all of a sudden now we have a, a situation where we're, we're domesticized you know we've got to pipe this stuff in so we have to figure out how to uh, clean the water supply and, and then get it to you so that you have good, clean drinking water. How much water are you drinking right there? This is one gallon. Yeah, so there you go. So I've been drinking over a gallon of water every day for, I guess, over a week. You know, whenever I first started, I found I was trying to drink glasses of water, bottles of water, and I was like, I don't have enough. I don't have enough on hand. And so what I started doing is just carrying a jug, a gallon jug of water around and I, I finish it every day and I usually drink more before I even start that and then I drink a gallon and then I'll it's, drink more. It's a fun, it's like a game you play. Try and to finish it. I try to have, I have handouts in the office that we give patients on how to drink more water because there's a book that I um, read years ago. It's 437 pages on the body's many cries of water mm -hmm. and that's what it's called. I mean, you can, like, it's online, it's free, it's a PDF or something, but it's long mm -hmm. and all this medical doctor did was go around and treat 
people with all kinds of ailments, whether it was migraines, whether it was belly pain, whether it was skin rashes, whether it was high blood pressure, whether it was, um, it didn't matter, allergies. And all he would do is give people water. Yeah. And, and he's got documented proof that water is our first resource for getting back on the health track. That's cool. You know, and I mentioned this last week, how my skin, I felt like it's better. That was one of the goals I had. Hey, I want to see if my skin will clear up a little bit, a little bit better. And as a 32 year old male, sometimes it's hard to say that. And it's kind of weird. Cause like, wow, this guy, he's concerned about his skin. I was like, well, yeah, a little bit, you know, but everybody, you know, I want everybody to a clear face, it ain't right? just you, right? Yeah. I'm just, I was brave enough to say it. I felt like that was, you know, something, but <laughs> someone asked me, so is it, you know, the supplements and the vitamins, is it the, the food that you're eating that's making the difference? And I feel like a lot of it is probably even just the water intake. That's right. And it, what would it be? Is it a combination? Is it well, one so thing? It, just simply on the water conversation, because I could literally, I could just beat water into the ground because I want people to realize that it's so simple sometimes mm -hmm. and we try to make health so hard. Right. Right. And so when it comes to water, nature's solution to pollution is dilution. And so... What we try to help people understand is that when your body is toxic and full of trash, your body is storing trash in three main places in your body. Your brain tissue, that's why you forget why you walk into a room. Mm -hmm. It's stored in fat cells. The, average, the fat cell can swell up seven times the size of normal. Wow. And then it gets stored in your joints. And that's why people walk, walk around with arthritis or what I like to call arthrongus because I don't think there's anything rightous <laughs> about it, right? Right. So, the, the, the water should be your first uh, and main resource. And when you put water in, your body is not going to let you hold on to all that excess toxin unless you're not putting in good water. And so the more water you drink, you'll flush out all the old trash from the cells and from the joints and that your body's you know metabolically generating every day. Even if we lived in an ideal clean world, mm -hmm. the body every day is recycling its own manufacturing facility. It's waste developed even just in natural body processes. And if your body is using your skin as an exit channel, then your main exit channels, your digestive tract, your urine tracts are not being used adequately. Does that wow. make sense? Yeah, it does. That does make sense. You know, something interesting that we discussed, I guess last week, we had a guest in from Galveston, from the Heart Gallery, it's in Galveston, Texas. It's an art gallery. There was a, one of the owners there. It's a family that owns it. Her name is Samatha, which I thought was a pretty cool name. And her husband's name is Scott. So in 1993, 1994, she was on a, ve like on a vegetarian diet. So she got uh, diagnosed with uh, MS. And she said she was on like 13 pills, pills a day, all kinds of different stuff. And then what she ended up doing was switching to a vegan diet because a friend told her after that, all of the symptoms from MS went, went away. They, they disappeared. And she went to the doctor. I was like, what did the doctor say? The doctor was like, you Dumb have founded. nothing. Yeah, there's, I don't know what happened. So there's the worst there. case that ever walked in my office, uh, I remember it like it was yesterday. And I mean, I, I know her name. I know her story. Uh, she was diagnosed with over eight different conditions, everything from chronic fatigue to migraines to multiple sclerosis to um, uh, con she was constipated. She was uh, fibromyalgia. I mean, she lived on antibiotics from chronic urinary tract infections. Mm -hmm. And she was on 28 and a half medications. And this was all diagnosed. I mean, this isn't mm -hmm. like, you know. Self-diagnosed. Yeah, self-diagnosed stuff. Yeah. And so she came in many years of suffering. And only thing she wanted to do was to sew needle and thread again. Mm -hmm. I asked her, I said, in if in 30 days I could just, if I had a magic wand and I could just run it over you, what would you want? I just want to sew, Dr. Chop. That's all I want. I just want to sew again. I'm like, oh, oh, sew again. And she goes, yeah. I'm like, okay. Uh, then that's what we're going to try to do. Yeah. And, in, and so what I found in that story is in 30 days she was sewing again. In six months, she was down to eight medications and hiking in New Hampshire with her grandkids. Wow. No diagnosed MS. And it goes to your story with the lady that went to vegan. Mm -hmm. What did she really do? Did she, is it the vegan diet? Was it the detox? Or was it what she didn't put in her body anymore? Right. It goes back to what you eat is important. What you put in your body is important. Nobody can argue that. But what you're not putting in your body is more important so like processed foods and that's right and what like what other things are we cutting out all right so like when we do the ultimate detox program 
and and going forward what we're looking at is taking away it's a, from stress free living for the, you know, for 21 days you're taking out partially hydrogenated oil it's a known liver con, uh, congestant it's going to mm -hmm. clog up the liver's bile ducts it's going to alter the way you metabolize fats it's going to alter the way that your body processes chemicals and and so it is a huge thing to pull out of your diet and it's in that's why you can't do every veggie chip on the market because yeah. a lot of them have this canola oil in it, which is mm -hmm. con oil. Uh, it's got, it, they have other ingredients that we've got to be careful of. Cane sugar. Cane sugar, yeah. But okay, but see, watch this. So in the top four uh, deadly food additives, wheat, dairy, corn, and soy, notice in the top 10 of my list, sugar's not on that list. Why not? I don't know. Because if it was introduced into our society today, sugar, it would be a controlled substance. It's a chemical. And that's why we should literally treat it as such because we have documents uh, in our office that we give patients that are 146 reasons that sugar can ruin and destroy your health. Wow. And and so we're pulling out uh, MSG, monos monosodium glutamate. We're pulling out, which uh, all these can be found at any fast food type restaurant, mm -hmm. artificial sugars, anything that says diet, light, sugar-free. These things are chemicals. Some of them are known carcinogenics. They're known uh, brain degenerators. Uh, and, and we want to stay away from those artificial sugars because they're so not healthy for you. And right? we can taste it now. That's the weirdest part about being on day 15 is if I try something like the other day, I went I went to Whataburger because I had to go, uh-oh, I'm getting the look. <laughs> uh, I went to Whataburger because it was the closest thing that I could get to, and I was going with somebody else, and they wanted to eat. And so, what I did was I said, "Okay, can I have a grilled chicken wrapped in lettuce with like tomatoes and pickles?" Which isn't bad, but I could taste that they did something different to that chicken. That I was like, "There's something in this that I still don't like. Like that I can taste that I haven't had in a while." So I don't know what they added to the chicken, but it wasn't pure white meat. And so what you always want to listen to the way that your body responds to food. When, and that's another thing about why we go on extreme diets and things like this. When I, when I did uh, put people through this, this is where you guys are at. Mm -hmm. Y'all are at a spot right now where y'all are starting to recognize if you get contaminated with something and your body responds. It's been happening all this time. You just – your body was – so inundated with so many other factors you couldn't you used to it that's right yeah and so now that you pull out the, the the trash and your body starts to perform like it's supposed to and then you put that substance back in it immediately knocks you down yeah i've struggled eating places i suppose just because preparing your food yourself you know what you're getting you know how you're cooking it you know how you cut it and exactly what it's cooked with and so my wife, she's been like, hey, let's go here, let's go there. You know, finally we went to Salada the other day. And even then, I had never been before, but it was great. It was actually really, really good. And it was just a bunch of vegetables is what I, I did. But still, I even had a hard time deciding to go and do that just because I'm like, well, I don't know. I don't know if I can eat that. It was really good. Dr. Shopper and I have been to Salada before as well, and we had a great time. And I like trying the different foods and the different sauces that they potentially have in there. So yeah. like the mango sauces and everything else. Like, like the dressings? The dressings. Yeah. It's interesting because like if I go to a different place to do a salad, I'm not putting mango sauce on it. So that's something that if you're like struggling and you're like, hey, I'm on this diet, where can I go? I recommend going to Salada. And that's they're not right. paying you to say that. But I found that it was really easy to be on this 21-day cleanse and using Salada because of what they have to offer there. And don't forget Jason's Deli is a good restaurant. I mean, a lot of times, and this is why people mm -hmm. don't want to do detox programs or they don't want to change their lifestyle because they think that food isn't fun. Right. I mean, but just for the record, so my, my people don't know this, but how do y'all like the, the chapa salsa over there? It's oh, delicious. It's delicious. So, I mean, so we made a, a green sauce. My mom and I made that this morning. Uh, she came and uh, stayed the night with us last night. Mm -hmm. And she um, was so graciously, you know, uh, loves to uh, help us around the house whenever she comes over and take care of our kids and and help us run around with a chicken with a head cut off you know getting ready for school oh you know, yeah the whole transition and so she we we make make this uh, tomatillo sauce jalapeno it's good isn't it I see smiles ear to ear that's great and Delicious. so and and the whole go the whole goal is to make food fun again but when you're on the go and you're it, it's inconvenient it's so easy to say ah I'll put that off. Well, if you gain, you know, 
a pound a year for 10 years, that's 10 extra pounds. That 10 extra pounds translates into an extra miles worth of work for your heart. And, and so every 10 pounds that you are overweight, that is an extra mile of work for your heart to do. Is it around 3,000 calories that you overeat over maintenance and that equals a pound? Or I, I know there's a number around yeah. there somewhere. I don't know it ex off the top of my head yeah. either because a lot of – and that's the other thing. We make food complicated in numbers. I think if we just get to eating the right foods more often and mm -hmm. avoiding the wrong foods more often um, – we find that we don't have to think a lot about what we should be eating and not eating. And the average American's eating the same 11 meals over and over again. Mm -hmm. We just got to put in about nine of them that are really good and get your family to taste it about 17 times. And, and that's why, you know, to encourage you guys with, you know, out there with little kids, if little Johnny doesn't want to eat his veggies, you've got 17 years to get him to try it 17 times. Just make sure that he puts that in his mouth and bites into it a couple times because it does take time to get that texture palate developed, especially as we're inundated with salt and, and yeah. sugar in our society. Yeah, I agree. You know, my son, I'm fortunate that he likes vegetables and like sometimes he'll just chow down on it and that's good. So I keep feeding him, you know, as much as he's gonna eat. That's right. Um, man, yeah, I, I'm enjoying being on this on this different lifestyle because it's like a challenge you know it was like a challenge and now i do feel energy um it's it's a lot different but i'm, I'm enjoying myself i saw that bang came out with a new yeah unicorn but, flavor and i've I been wanting like, to try it but it oh. like i want to try it so bad but then i'm like you know i don't think i ever <laughs> need caffeine ever again i, I want to see what it tastes like though and i want to ask someone i know it'll be impossible to describe like hey what does that unicorn energy drink taste like but I've seen it too. See, I don't think I'm ever going back to energy drinks. Well, I, and and frankly, why should you? Why do you? Why does your body need uh, rocket fuel? What if you just had a? Or let me say it again. <laughs> why does your body need artificial rocket fuel? Yeah. Right? right. If you if if you eat the right foods, if you live right, be right, uh, drink right, and this is something that I discovered. At so I've never been one that was into caffeine or mm -hmm. specifically not caffeine, coffee, and I know there's a lot of connoisseurs out there. And, um, and I get it. So uh, three years ago, my wife and I are, are on a trip and I wake up one morning and I wanted to surprise her. Hey, do you, you want to go get a cup of coffee and have some breakfast? Mm -hmm. And she's like, I'm sorry. Like, <laughs> are, you're my husband. Like yeah. you've been anti-coffee this whole, like our entire marriage. And, and I'm like, yeah, let's go try it out. So I, I, I try it and it's so bitter, but I'm like, it's no more bitter than the herbs I'm drinking in my office. Right. Right. Yeah. So I say to myself, I can do this. So I'm like, okay, I'll try it for a little while. Well, within a year I started finding it was waking me up in the morning with a migraine. And, and it was like telling me when I had to get up, it was telling me what I had to do. I started thinking about Starbucks, time. Yeah, you know, midday. And I'm like, Oh, it should be so good if I had a Starbucks right now. And I'm like, what the <laughs> heck is going on with this? I was like, I don't have, to, I can't be dictated by my food, but do you realize most chips that you bite into? Mm -hmm. Why do you think Lay's potato chip says, I bet you can't eat just one. Yeah. Because the law of you know diminishing returns whenever you eat food if you, if it doesn't take you to society uh, satiety and you're satisfied you just keep eating it right yeah well if it's chemically altered to never give you that sense of satiety you will keep eating it and keep eating it and pepsi cola rand, Corpor rand corporation have done studies if they can get your kids uh, dig drinking their soda pop by 9 years old they know they got you hooked forever Wow. And you can think about it. What kind of ketchup do you guys use? I use um, a couple different kinds. I got Heinz and I also have like the Whataburger spicy ketchup in the refrigerator in my house. Well, see, look at that. I never even thought about that being a potential contender for your taste buds. Mm -hmm. But you see what I'm saying? But odds are if until this conversation had you, we never met, you would have never switched from Heinz or, or Whataburger spicy whatever mm -hmm. ketchup right yeah everybody's got hellman's as their favorite mayonnaise or they've got what's the other one that's out there you know miracle I, li whip. I like miracle, miracle whip, whip. People, that yeah. was a whole different discussion like that's not mayonnaise it's you know whatever but well and that's the thing though but you know ask ask the social guy social media people what y'all's favorite you know ketchup that you've always known and what's your favorite mayonnaise and and just you know just respond back and see what's what they say yeah what do y'all what do y'all have let us know if you're watching on social media and I'm guessing it's because I remember having Miracle Whip as a kid. That's what my mom always put on the sandwich. And that's what 
is in my refrigerator now. You know, uh, whenever I want a sandwich, I want I want Miracle Whip. And the point of all this is that we're just creatures of habit, right? I mean, if if uh, if we can just retrain and then reacclimate our taste buds to enjoy real food, mm -hmm. it just takes a little time. I mean, when you guys started this that first week. You know, we thought Kurt's head was going to blow off. Day day one, he was having you know hot sweats, getting lightheaded. I mean, he was he was like looking forward to going and eating paint chips. Did you ever tell lot. Dr. Choppa anything about anything in this process, or is this something that we've kept under wraps? It, uh, Wait, I'm, I'm confused as to what we're talking about. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm, now I'm really confused. And I'm excited. I want to know what you're talking about. <laughs> maybe we'll have more later. I don't know. Maybe I'll have. I might have some breaking news. I don't know. Y'all, y'all have to stay tuned right. to find out. Um, you know, talking about the coffee again, because I know a lot of people are really into coffee. A lot of people are really interested in coffee. And then we'll come back to the mayonnaise whenever we get a couple people to answer. Um, I already got a couple. We, we got some too. So with the coffee, you mentioned how bitter it is. It's almost like something you have to train yourself to drink. And then if you don't want to have it that bitter, you put in the artificial sweetener. That's right. You put in the sugar. That's right. And you kind of just... You drink it. It's all over your teeth. It's on your mouth. I went to the dentist yesterday, and that's another thing. Like sugar, just destroys your teeth. And it's not like you're drinking coffee and let me go brush my teeth. That's you know, right. you're pretty much like swishing around sugar in your mouth and letting it just destroy your your dental hygiene. Well, so think about this. What? Okay, well, number one on the coffee talk. Four ounces of coffee can dehydrate your body up to sixty-four ounces of water. So if you're a good water drinker and you're also a good coffee drinker, guess what? You're going to have to upload uh, more water to offset the amount of coffee that you're drinking. It Do is a, a little diuretic. bit more. It's very concentrated. But number uh, two, most people don't enjoy coffee. Yeah. They enjoy the sugar and the um, uh, and the co milk that they're putting in it. It's like, wow. do you want coffee or do you want uh, a, you know, a little coffee with your sugar? Sugar milk. milk. Your sugar milk, right? Yeah. And so if we can – what I teach patients is you've got to develop that bitter palate. If you're going to drink coffee, and again, it's an herb, right? I mean, it's yes. not like it's it, the devil. It's natural. Yeah. But and, and so I'm not like – if you can tolerate some caffeine in your body and not have the same negative effects that most people uh, have whenever they get addicted to this stuff, and, and, and that might lead us to another conversation. But coffee isn't necessarily um, – it's okay. It's it's better if you're gonna drink it without the sugar and without the milk and without the artificial this and that. Yeah, I got you. You've got to do it with the bitter. You've got to develop that bitter palate. Mm -hmm. And so when you develop the bitter palate, your your salt, sugar, sour palate will be more balanced, which will help you develop the fifth palate, which is your savory palate. And that savory palate is what helps you appreciate texture. It's what helps you appreciate, um, you know, the enjoyment of food from another. Uh, sensory perspective but if you don't have that bitter palate you don't have the savory palate and that's the zinc test that we did so that's well that that zinc test your body stores 70 percent of its zinc in the prostate uh, as a male okay and and so as uh, anything left over it supports 300 enzymatic functions in your body everything from your digestive function to your immune function your skin your hair your hair um, I mean that zinc is very important, right? Mm -hmm. But zinc left over, once saturated in all those other areas, goes into the taste buds. Cool. Right now we're talk talking to Dr. Aaron Choppa. If you have any questions, if you have any issues going on in your body, I we got, can maybe get you answered today. You got something you want to talk about? So, so I got – so uh, what's up, Scott? Waterburger. He says the Waterburger spicy ketchup is his favorite. I'm feeling that. And then uh, uh, Tammy says – Chemicals in our food, yuck. And then a lot of people say they do enjoy black coffee over here on my end. So these must be good listeners and followers. And uh, <laughs> so, but, it, and, and some people say, hey, they've never really enjoyed coffee, which in rea all reality, that might be true. But what other caffeine sources are you indulging in? Yeah. If you're indulging in soda for your caffeine, because mm -hmm. I know people that drink a Coke a day, you know, Kathy, if you're out there, you know that uh, I'm, I'm watching you. Yeah, Dr. Pepper. I know people that they have to have a Dr. Pepper. Like, oh, I have a headache. You know, and you stop drinking Dr. Pepper, you end up Did you guys get headaches. any headaches or anything at the no, beginning of this? I didn't. You know, I found that there's some people who have, and I don't know if this is like a myth or anything, but like an addictive personality. But I've been pretty fortunate that I, I don't have that. Like, I'm usually, if I'm doing something, I can kind of cut it off. Yeah. And I'm okay. That's how I am. 
Yeah. I've never been addicted to anything. I've, if the minute I'm done with it, I'm done Just with make it. Make a decision and, and it's, it's, it's a decision. Done. But sometimes that has to do with a lack of minerals if you are more of an addictive personality. If you don't have the uh, the the willpower so to speak to yeah. turn off that engine that comes down to uh, uh, you needing balance and minerals. So zinc being one of them, uh, phosphorus, magnesium, calcium, you know, just getting all those things under wraps. And another way you know if you're overindulging in, you know, caffeine, if you got if if you're having Charlie horses or cramps mm -hmm. in your legs regularly, well, number one, water is your first resource. But like I said earlier, if you're dehydrating yourself because you're drinking too much caffeine, then you've got to change not just your water intake, but we've got to decrease the amount of caffeine you're consuming. You got to recognize that it is an, it is driving function in your body. Right now it's nine o'clock. You're listening to KHEA Radio 99.5 FM. We're talking to Dr. Aaron Chapa. If you're watching right now, maybe you have somebody on your friends list. Maybe you have somebody um, on your Facebook friends that needs to hear or has some questions. Facebook, go ahead and share this out because we're trying to get as much useful information out into the world as possible. And everybody can use a little bit of, a little bit of help sometimes or another opinion. Yeah, so if you are listening, you can give us a call at 346-704-1806. Again, that number is 346-704-1806. You can listen to us live on Facebook. You can listen to us live on YouTube. You can listen to us on the dial at 99.5 FM or online at khearadio.com. We're also on the TuneIn app. So plenty of ways to listen in and Ooh. chime in today. We're streaming live on YouTube too. So bam, Dang. bada bang, bada boom. Hey, hey Kurt, you've been kind of quiet over there whenever we were talking about like caffeine headaches and you were just kind of like drinking water, like looking, your eyes are shifting left to right. Did you experience <laughs> anything like that? I may have done so because I, it's weird. Mine come and go, mine comes and goes. And I feel like I do have like an eating addiction. Um, because I even the other day like bought like five different snacks from H E B that they were healthy snacks. They're like carrots, branded as healthy, yeah. Butter, you know, bananas. They were they're like apples and cinnamon apple things and kale chips, and they were delicious. And I got done on Sunday. And I was like, woke up yesterday morning, I'm like, oh, let me grab one of my snacks. <laughs> and I looked in the cabinet and they Magic. were all gone. I'm like, a, that was like $30 worth of snacks. It was what like a I magician. Do? A magician came in and you might as well just eat in the $30. It been, I might have snuck it in the night. <laughs> so a couple of things I want to bring up. There's some people that are kind of mentioning some stuff on our Facebook feed. One, people are talking about uh, keto, like the keto diet and carbs. And then other people are bringing up, I guess, bulletproof coffee, which I, I suppose is coffee with butter in it. And that's what is part of like the keto diet lifestyle if you want to get your coffee right um what are your thoughts on those two so, things okay so number one again let me go back i didn't say you couldn't do ca caffeine and coffee right uh but in most of the time it comes down to the artificial sugars you're putting in it it's into the dairy you're putting in it and most people aren't drinking coffee um and when i talk dairy i'm talking milk cheese yogurt sour cream ice cream whey protein creamy dressings um cream in your coffee those types of dairy yes when you put butter or mct oil in your coffee um that is fine again the whole point of keto diet is um is what are you putting in your body is important but what you're not putting in is more important Right. So the one thing uh, with respect to uh, the bulletproof coffee, I make my own bulletproof coffee. It's a dandelion coffee. It's caffeine free. It's still black and rich wow. like coffee. And it's very easy. We sell the stuff called dandy blend and it's fantastic. And we put butter and cinnamon and vanilla in it. And we make an absolute amazing frappuccino, uh, frappuccino type bulletproof experience. And again, I still encourage people, hey, if you have to do the coffee because you need the caffeine, check yourself. You know, ask yourself if you, what if you didn't need caffeine to get going every morning? How much more efficient would your cylinders be running in your body if you didn't need artificial rocket fuel? If you could yeah. use something like an herbal, you know, rich coffee alternative. Does that make sense? Oh, it makes perfect sense because up until, you know, two weeks ago, me and Kurt getting up in the morning and being on the radio and just like standing each other and not like choking each other out you know <laughs> it took energy drinks every day sometimes more than one energy drink during a show eight maybe nine <laughs> eight, energy nine. drinks. yeah we were looking for 
an energy drink sponsor. We was like, we need somebody to sponsor us because we're going to go broke. So now Living Well Clinical Nutrition Center is teaching you a better way. Yeah. You know? Well, we don't need the energy drinks. We haven't had them in a it's while. What, what has it been, 14 days? Yes. It's been oh, two I like weeks. That. that is good. Two Living Well Clinical like Nutrition like Center teaching is you teaching you a better, better way. way. Yeah, Ooh. I love it. So somebody asked, what do you think about coconut water? So coconut water is great. Um, and it's got electrolytes. Uh, you know, like you mentioned last week on the show, you know, I don't really like it straight. I use it in smoothies and stuff. But if your drink, if you're looking for, you know, an electrolyte alternative, just a different and changing the way water tastes, I mean, it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to work out well. And, yeah. um, you know, and, and one of my people are asking about, um, well, how do you get off of sodas? And, and so one of the, have y'all seen these uh, machines that actually, you know, add carbonation to the water, make yeah. it like a sparkling water? I have one. I think I have one. You've seen those? I, I have one in oh. my house. Yeah, you hook it in a bottle and you can add the carbonation and do it that way. But That's it comes a, with syrup for soda and then other stuff. Yeah, want. but you could use essential oils, uh, you know, to, you know, to flavor it a little bit. Cool, yeah. And uh, you could totally help yourself get off of, you know, these things, um, these, these carbonated caffeine sugar rich you know uh drinks that you're drinking and use you know some of the other alternatives hey so i have a quick question because it's really weird when i was growing up my my dad loved the sparkling waters from Me like too. walmart like absolutely loved them and filled our refrigerator with them and i every time i ate like drank one of those i got sick that messed your stomach up. it did i okay. felt like so awful. there so again water shouldn't taste Water shouldn't bubble in your mouth, and it shouldn't burn down the back of your throat. Yeah. Right? I mean, it really shouldn't if we're talking. Feels good, though. But so what a lot of times <laughs> people don't realize is that it is irritated, irritating your gut lining. So you want to be mindful and realize that the gut lining is um, – it, it can be, all, you know, irritated whenever you put carbonated stuff in there. So you might have been getting sick because you already had digestive irritations because you were – dairy sensitive all your life so we have we have a question that seems like it's pretty important we're gonna get that asked but speaking of like the water what about like topo chico and like perrier and mineral water those are okay so look and and so when you're drinking sparkling water it goes to what he just said if listen to your body if you drink it and every time you drink it you get an upset stomach or you get a headache even especially if your headache comes on in the base of your skull yeah you irritated your gut lining okay and that means you already had a gut, a irritated gut lining and I just opened up a wound. Yeah, I didn't know if it was the ones that have like the artificial, because I remember the ones at Walmart, they came in a big bottle. My dad would drink them too. The I glass don't know ones? if everybody's dad did, yeah. Well, so, okay, well, check this out. This is a fun thing that you can do. Uh, when, you, when I go to a restaurant and everybody's having drinks, right? And I don't want to necessarily drink. Mm-hmm. What I'll do is I'll ask the bartender for a sparkling water or soda water, is mm-hmm. what they you know call it. Yeah. And bitters. And your waiter or waitress will not know probably what bitters are, but the, you just always tell them the bartender will know. And you want about a, you know, one to two teaspoons of bitters mixed in some uh, uh, soda water, and it looks sparkly and fun. And it can be a fun little drink alternative. I put a splash of lime or you know lemon in mine, and and what it is is it's digestive bitters. It's gentian. And gentian is a great digestive bitter that primes the digestive tract, or the stomach specifically, that food's coming. So get ready because we're about to eat. And it's a nice little pre-cheat before your uh, meal comes because uh, if you can prepare your digestion for food, you're better off going to digest it and absorb it. And you can eat the best food on the planet, but if you can't absorb it or break it down – and use it, then it's no better than you eating junk food. Mm. Okay, so we have a bunch of questions. We're, we're talking to Dr. Aaron Chapa of Living Leak well City, and uh, we're, we're going to be talking to him for just a little bit longer, but we do have a couple of uh, quick questions for you right here on our <laughs> Facebook page. We are streaming live on Facebook. Just search for KHEA Radio. Uh, Leah asked, is there something we are eating, drinking that leads to a lot of inflammation? Absolutely. Everything that you put in your body that is uh, not real. Oh, hang on. Let me get that back here. Uh, uh, nice. So give him a thumbs up. That's, that's the green sauce, chopper style. Um, the inflammation 
comes typically if you just make this simple, okay? There's always more to your story. I don't know you personally, Leah, but what I would encourage you to uh, know is look at wheat, dairy, corn, soy in that order. Uh, wheat, most people are we're finding out right now because um, people think that this whole gluten thing was a fad and, and it's not real and that people are just you know propagandizing it up and it'll go away just like all these other fad diets. Yeah. But the reality is, is what we're learning is we are hybridizing gluten. That means we are chemically altering the gluten in the food, number one. Number two, most people are not allergic to gluten. They're allergic to the pesticides that we spray all over the wheat product. Does that make sense? It does, yeah. and, and so when you mix those two things together, now it has a completely different effect in your body. It wasn't the wheat that, you know, Little House on the Prairie, little Laura Ingalls was probably eating. You know what I mean? And, and um, But the soy, it is – genetically modified in Canada 100% you know probably close to that here in the US um, and then the corn products corn is not a grain I mean not a vegetable uh, you know contrary to popular belief it is a grain and it is very very um, inflammatory to the body that's why you don't see it uh, that's why you see it on the other side after you've chewed it up you know a that's lot of true. those particles don't make it you know it doesn't digest they don't digest yeah Wait, what yeah, haven't you ever seen corn in your poop? Come on. I have never seen that. And I'm from Nebraska and I'm a corn guy. That's impossible. I guess I'm not looking close enough. <laughs> that might be true. <laughs> I'll give you that. That's hilarious. That's hilarious. So, I'm speechless. I, I am speechless as well. I bet you everybody has seen corn in your poop. <laughs> Our social media is thumbs up if you've seen corn in your poop. You know? So, yeah. okay. So those four, wheat, dairy, corn, and soy are your top four inflammatory foods. Sodas. Um caffeine that loaded with sugar or coffee loaded with sugar sh caffeine drinks energy drinks all these things are inflammatory to our body what you eat is important but what you do not eat is more important we got to remember that you know corn to me always seemed like a vegetable like i'd always i'd roast corn and i'm like oh this is a healthier a healthier option you know i, I love corn on the grill i love popcorn I loved cream corn, which, you know, I knew that was like not one of the healthier ones, but still I was like, oh, at least it's corn, you know, but now finding you mean like out. like cream corn, like where they like mix it full of like dairy and all yeah. that? <laughs> <laughs> That's the one. You go to Rudy's Barbecue and Rudy's Barbecue oh, so has good. probably but some of the best cream corn around. The, the, but, and this is the thing, um, what, what we're realizing too is a lot of these foods have opiate effects in their brain. Mm -hmm. If you eat gluten and dairy together, it is known to have opiate effects. That's why you enjoy it so much. Is that why you get like they, they use the term meat sweats? Have you heard that before? <laughs> yeah, I've heard of that before. I think that it comes down to the amount of congestion, how much that slows your bowels down. Yeah. So, you know, when you put wheat in, into your body, and I would say dairy too, I mean, any mucus forming food, it can slow down bowel motility up to 37%. Wow. 37%. So the slower your bowels um, move, the harder it is for anything. Their average American's got about 15 meals caked up inside of them. And so you could overindulge in meat. So like, you know, one time I was in Disney World, this is years and years ago, my father-in-law can eat like steak and potatoes. I mean, he's got like the metabolism of like all of us in the world would you know, dream. Want. Of having, yeah, that's right? what you want. You know, uh, potato chips and, and, and floats at night and he's gained like two pounds and they're his him and his wife's forty years of marriage. You yeah. Know? And he's like, Man, you suck. Yeah. You know? How do you do that? And um, I mean I think like that and I gain weight. Um, but <laughs> the, the the reality is is um, when it comes to what we're putting in our body, uh, food matters, you know, and we've got to get people to, to realize that putting the wrong food in often enough will cause your body to fall apart really quickly. Interesting. I want to talk more about corn. I'm just thinking about it because popcorn, I like butter, I like salt, and I can literally eat as much as I want. And that's the one thing. Earlier in the year, me and Kurt did like a weight loss competition, so we were strictly trying to eat better. And I told Kurt, there's one thing in my life that if he set it down, I probably would not be able to control myself. I, I cannot stop eating popcorn until it's gone. You know, I, I sit in a movie theater, the popcorn, the large popcorn has gone before the movie starts. That's just the way it is. And if we're talking about corn, I mentioned roasting corn. So I'd always get like corn on the cob. I'd put it on the grill. Growing up, you know, Hispanic, hey, I want corn in a cup. I want to get, I want to put butter on it. I want to put like all the pepper and seasoning on the corn and I just eat it off or like scrape it off and do that. For me, 
I just have to give it a hand clap. <laughs> and then <laughs> cream corn was my favorite side as a kid. Like when my mom cooked, I wanted the cream corn. But don't you, I think that's because it's easy. Like, you know, corn yeah. is, it's cheap and easy. I mean, you're from Nebraska. Why was corn the number one, you know, resource? Because it's everywhere. I guess. Is it everywhere? I mean, you have to plant it. Yeah, I mean, but it's planted I mean, the, everywhere. The government, but subsidizes corn farmers. You know, they. I mean, there's a lot of reasons. It goes in your cars too. Well, see, I always say that corn is only good for gasoline and birds. And the birds. And the birds. Yeah. Not for human consumption. You don't have a gizzard. You don't have the ability to break down um, that material very well in your body. I think part of the reason Kurt likes corn is because they're the corn huskers. Like the college and, and growing up, that's really all they kind of look. I that's feel like, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you, don't, if you hate corn, you might as well not live in Nebraska. Well, that's why you live now in. You're Houston. in Texas, man. I am. League City. Beautiful. Lamarck, Texas. That's right. Loving it. <laughs> You're listening to KHEA Radio 99.5 FM. It's 9.15. We're talking to Dr. Aaron Chapa. It's a beautiful day outside. I brought a jacket in case it's going to rain. We're going to take a look at the weather right now with a, a weatherman that has just started in the, in the past you know, two weeks or so. So let's see is that Kurt? If, he does, if he does good. This is the KHEA Radio Kickstart Weather Center. Brought to you by Texas Chronicles, history, mystery, and adventure with Curtsy, the cornless Casper. <laughs> it's currently 82 degrees right now in the Mark, Texas. 93 is going to be the high today. It is going to be partly cloudy. Chance of thunderstorms tonight. Your sun sets 752. Your sunrise tomorrow morning is at 650. Wednesday, 95. Thursday, 94. Friday, 92. And that's a look at your weather for the next couple of days. You're listening to KHEA Radio 99.5 FM. This is Kickstart. It's a beautiful day. We're going to have an awesome show. We have Dr. Aaron Chapa from Living Well Clinic. Dr. Chapa, what's your website again? So uh, my name is Dr. Aaron Chapa. I own Living Well Clinic Nutrition Center here in League City, Texas. Very excited. We've been here for the last 13 years. Uh, our phone number is 281-554-8600. We give all people alternatives to drugs and surgery. We teach people how to live well, be well, and stay well, one bite at a time. And our website is justlivewell.com. We've got some great health surveys up available that you can just kind of give yourself a self-assessment and, cool. ch and check yourself and, and, and figure out whether or not uh, you want to take this a little deeper going forward. You know, something interesting, uh, Mary Gutierrez on our Facebook stream said that she's heard that grain-fed cattle can also get corn into your diet when you eat meat. At times, and I guess that's just something you don't really think about, like oh, oh I'm eating meat, but you're getting things, and like maybe I'm allergic to something. It's messing me up. But. Yeah, uh, it's, it's same with same with uh, chickens. If uh, some people, have you ever seen those soy-free uh, chicken eggs at the grocery store? I've never paid attention that close. You you would because of the like the nine dollar ones. Oh yeah, you're I probably don't get not those. buying those. Not the expensive you know, ones. But so here's the deal, uh, and so a cow should be grazing off the land, right? Right. And if they truly grazed off the land and they were – or if you had you know, enough land that you could rotate them appropriately through your field, their diet would be more rich. If you didn't substitute grains into their system, they would be more rich in omega-3 fats. And everybody knows fish oil is good, right? Cod liver oil is great if you're in my office because of the omega-3 ratio that we're trying to offset from omega-6 to uh, 3s. Right now – when you have an out of balance six to three fat ratio, infl inflammation comes about. So when we eat all these processed foods, we're driving up the omega-6, decreasing our omega-3. The more we feed cows grain, the same thing happens to them that happens to us. Our, our bowels slow down. I mean, they've, this is all you know, kind of scary stuff because now the meat is not omega-3 rich like it used to be. Mm -hmm. It's omega-6 rich. And that's why we have to look to fish for our omega-3, you know, offset to get it up. And a lot of people don't like, you know, fish and they think it's too fishy or whatever. Yeah. And, and, but that, um, those omega-3s are vitally important to balancing out the ratio and getting you to stop eating high omega-6 rich, you know, processed foods and or grain fed cattle. So talking about fish, I love fish. I love seafood and I go to my grocery store, which just happens to be my local HUB, right down the street from my house. They have all kinds of stuff. So I do notice you can buy stuff that is like wild caught, and then you can buy fish that I guess is farm raised. It's how they. Yeah, yeah. You don't want farm raised fish though. Why? Why is that? So because they feed them soy, 
and they feed them you know things same that stuff. You, same stuff i mean and fish last time i checked shouldn't be eating grains right i'm just you know going out on a limb there but yeah. i'm pretty sure hey i gotta i gotta make a comment okay so a couple things I, you know i'm really excited because we got a listener scott all the way up in destin listening to us today. sweet what's That's up scott awesome. what's up scott and uh and and then we got i promised karen that i would let her know because you guys apparently offended her last week and oh. i did not defend her wait and, what we offended yes, somebody you, no I, I, us? I, yeah i'm just saying you <laughs> what did. you totally did 60 Y'all stated was old. Y'all were making references to old <laughs> Kurt the Cornless Casper over there. I turned 30 in a month from today. <laughs> that Listen, is old. I just have to say, I just have to say, 60 I know. is just a number. Your a 60 is not old, guys. <laughs> Try, if you're, I know if, that. If you're chronologically in the higher bracket of age, it's just a number. You, you have all the abilities to live well, be well, and stay well, one bite at a time. There you go, Karen. Yeah. I defended you. 60, guys, is not old. Well, and, there are 60-year-olds that are in way better shape than and Kurt. me and Kurt are as well. <laughs> you know, Kurt's there's looking a lot of people. Claire. There's probably like 99.5% of the population is healthier <laughs> than I am. Come this, on. Yeah, well, this, this, this may be a true statement, but we're working on that. <laughs> I mean, look at, look at you yeah. now. What did you tell me yesterday? You're, you're, you're on this detox. You don't want to go back to eating all that stuff. You're I'm going. Before. Okay, so this is this is what I have made the decision. Okay, so <laughs> this is the decision I made. And you're gonna love this decision, Doctor Chapa. I'm excited. So I did I mean, the I'm math. Standing up for this. There is like it, to do this detox for us. It was like two hundred some dollars, right? Right. Sure. So I have looked at my budget, and I think every single month. I'm going to do a 21 day detox every month. You're just going to live your life and then like constant detoxing. Oh yeah. When are you going to retox? When are you going to tox? Never. You know why? Because I love it. I love the feeling that I feel every single day. Now that I'm on this, like I feel amazing. I have energy that I never thought I had. I'm sleeping better than what I ever thought I would ever sleep. I laid in bed last night and literally fell right to sleep. And I woke up this morning, like totally completely refreshed. And I went to bed at midnight usually if i go to bed at midnight or i've been up like editing videos all day yeah waking up the next morning i'm i'm trashed i'm garbage um for the rest of the day i can't do it my body never used to let me today i'm energy i'm excited i'm pumped i could do another 24 hours if i wanted to and i think that's because of the diet that i'm currently on and so that's a huge you blessing. look pumped first of all you look pumped second i have to ask dr chapa is it smart to live in constant you know constant detox or should you like hey i'm gonna be balanced and then maybe do this once a year two times a year three times i don't know what what's okay so i am a detox fanatic i love all things detox i've tried all kinds of things because you know people come to me with all kinds of things uh, health elements i mm -hmm. mean anything that your body is dealing with if your body's breaking down in any way you probably need some kind of detox to process to happen so I recommend just on the simple, you, you focus on detoxing at least twice a year, you know, because what it is, is it puts you in a state where you're, you're f focused intentionally on what you're putting in your body. And a lot of people don't realize it, but when you intentionally put your mind to something for an X number of days, mm -hmm. it drives a pillar of habit down and you don't forget that testimony he just gave. I mean, you can't, he can, he's changed. He'll never go back. But but he will in about three months he'll forget because we're creatures of habit we naturally gravitate back to convenience and we just one little derailment people don't realize that one degree of change off track and you don't land where you intended on landing we've got to be intentional with our day-to-day -day spirit life mm -hmm. with our diet life with our relationship lives with our social circles our spouses uh, well you one day, Kurt. One day. One day. Wow. One keep day. in prayer. Keep keep Kurt in keep prayer. Keep detoxing. Keep detoxing. Hey, I'm so excited. listen. Let me let me say what's last. <laughs> My full goal well, when I got into this is I I did a detox every month uh, with a nine day break, ten day break for almost six months in a row when I first got into the, the detox. So I want to see how much detox is too much, right? Because I I was curious. And so should you retox? Uh, I mean. Should you do a little bit of cocaine? <laughs> I mean, no. Not recommended. Not recommended at all. So the, the, the deal is, is we shouldn't be, we should even have, what's at a health food store that's not at a grocery store? Like, why do we have a 
health food store, right? right? I mean, why doesn't the grocery store have all health food?、Mm -hmm. But the reality is, is there's this thing called marketing dollars that people are fighting for your marketing dollar. They want your money, and so they want they'll sell you what your taste buds like. And we are people that like pleasure. We like to be entertained, and so we have to really buckle down. And we're all salmon swimming upstream against the masses. But the better you take care of yourself, the better your mind works for you. The more productive Kurt is, the more creative we are as parents, the more excited we are as employees and employers out in the out in the world, and a better representative for Jesus. I think we can be. You、That's、know,、cool. here's the weirdest part. Okay, this is going to get a little more personal than than I I should have wanted. But here we go. More of the testimony.、Um, I started the minute like probably a week into the diet. I started having people that I had not associated with in a while started showing back up in my life, which、Me? I thought was, which I thought was interesting. As I keep getting healthier, I'm starting to, I guess, more people are wanting to be around me, which is exciting. It's、um, because you don't smell anymore. That's、wow. how. <laughs> Sweat, wow. Sweating less. Sweating less. But I don't know if there's like a different like aroma or chemical that's being put out. Well, but think about. I mean, what what if what if that is.、Uh, Why do people, whenever they, you know, go through traumatic relationship breakups, do they get on a health kick, you know, and and then they find a, a you know partner whenever they trim down or they lose weight or you know they, they're taking care of themselves. When you're intentional about taking care of yourself, I think it's attractive. I think people are drawn to people that are disciplined enough to take themselves through a process and say no to junk food. Processed、yeah. food, bad living. Yeah, you know what I mean. Because if if you if I had two twins in the studio today and they were seventy years old,、mm -hmm. right, identical twins, but one of them has a history of smoking, drinking, partying, staying up late in the night, not getting good rest, lots of stress in their lives, and then the other seemed to have a really balanced life. They ate well, they lived well, they thought well about themselves, and they just lived cleaner. They went to bed well, let you know, got good sleep. Right, in your mind's eye, which one of those people look younger? Have to be the guy who lived and took care of himself, or like at least made an effort. Made it right. Have to be. And, and no YOLO. That's right. And and so that's the, that's what I try to help people see is what you do today is going to change the next fifteen years of your life. And so every day that you wake up, be intentional. Right before you sink your teeth into that juicy, you know, scrumptious, deliciousness. Burger from your favorite burger joint. Ask yourself, is this going to make my body perform like it's supposed to, or is it going to cause it to sl be sluggish and dysfunctional and make me sleepy in the afternoon? Yeah, you know, you said YOLO, like no YOLO. I think it's all about perspective. So that's like you only live once. Hey, I might as well do it. But if you kind of change the way you think, whenever you say that, hey, you only live once. I'm going to take care of what I have. So whenever I am seventy, eighty, ninety, one hundred years old, I can still. Drive to the grocery store. I can still be in shape. I can、uh, tie my shoes. You know, bend down and do stuff with your grandkids and and your wife and everybody else. So it's just the way you think about stuff. You know. So of, I, I, good. Sorry, a lot, a lot of what I'm learning this year because we started 2018 as a year of changing our lifestyles. We started, you know, working out. We started eating better. We started, you know, all of those things. That that's what 2018 has been for us, and we're. We're in almost done with month eight of this. I wish in my heart that I would have known some of the stuff that I know right now in my life ten years ago. Living well, Clement Nutrition you know, Center. We teach that, you how to live better, be better, stay better. I saw young kids in your office yesterday. Yesterday, I was in Dr. Chapa's office filming a commercial for Dr. Chapa, and one of the things that I really enjoyed and learned was, you know, they were young kids like. What I guess five year olds, six、yeah. year olds that were in there, even younger. That I think there was a four year old was at one、younger. point, and they were they were doing the things that we're doing. They're eating right. They're putting in the supplements to help with their body. They're seeing Doctor Chapa doing some of the intestinal cleanses and stuff like that to help sure make sure that these kids at a young age are learning how to eat right, live right, and that's I think what's really exciting. And I I think you know one day when I have kids. Which is hopefully soon. No, one day、uh, I also believe that my kids are going to start living the way that I'm living right now because I want them to have a healthy lifestyle and not get to the age of 
and realize, oh, what have I done to myself? Yeah, then they will, that's all they'll know. They'll know like, hey, that's the way it is. Like, I don't want to be drinking like energy drinks. And I can only imagine the stuff they're going to come up with in the future. Like how, you know, coffee and caffeine has evolved and it's so readily available and the sugars and all that stuff. It's just going to, who knows what they're going to come up with next? Like sugar 2.0, you know, genetically modified. Well, so it, I got a, I got a, uh, a nice statement here that says, uh, thanks, Jeremy. I'm going to call you out. Uh, he'll love this. He, he he says that all salmon, because I reference us, you know, folks that are being disciplined and not, you know, eating whatever yeah. comes our way. All salmon swim upstream to die, and he's right. So you can make the the call that whole, you know, I only live once. I'm gonna live it. I'm gonna enjoy it. Da, 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 da. And that's right. You can, but uh, oftentimes, uh, because nobody is, nobody wants to talk about that whole thing the great continuum the great circle we're all gonna die right right but how do you want to die fully functional in spirit mind and body or do you want to die on 28 medications diagnosed with seven different uh conditions and premature potentially premature potentially now could i walk out of this building today and die at prematurely at a young age yes but that's see those are things that are outside of the realm of my control does that make sense? Yeah. It, we control what we can, and we pray that God be there for us to take care of what we can't control. And that's where the, the spirit life of health comes in. I mean, how many spirit-filled you know, filled people do you know that are truly living their potential whenever they got a migraine headache or whenever right. they've got digestive belly pain and they're, or they're in bed because they just have no energy? I have yeah. allergies. Like for me, in the past, before I started this diet, Allergies. I couldn't. I couldn't sit and edit while I was on allergies. I couldn't. You know. I couldn't Focus. function. I had to take medication that knocked me out, and I'm in bed at four o'clock in the afternoon because my day is wrecked because of these allergies. Yeah. I can't do that. You'd be missing out on your on living your full potential, and a lot of people are okay with not living up to their full potential. They don't realize it, and that's fine. You know. It. I think that is not for everyone because everybody doesn't have that mindset that you know that we have that our listeners have that are asking questions and being involved and make making an effort. And so if you want to live up to your full potential, then this is information that's really, really important for and we, you. And we want people to share it. I got a great testimonial right here that says, I can't imagine what my life would have looked like if I had, st- uh, if, if I had started this younger. I'm uh, so excited every time young people come into the office. And this is from Jennifer, one of our uh, clinical nutritionists over at the office, uh, mm-hmm. helping us get people better one cool. bite at a time. And, you know, um, and then, okay, so here's a good question. Somebody just t- chimed in. Uh, they said, you know, living well is extremely difficult when the entire family is against us. Right. I mean, because how, how often do you try to start making changes? And you feel like you're the blue crab trying to get out of the ice chest. And then one of your blue crab friends reaches up and grabs hold of you and pulls you get back Get over in. here. Yeah? Yeah, it's true. <laughs> you know, that's why it's important, too, to also watch who, who you're hanging out with. Uh-huh, yeah. You well, know, it's... Well, if it's your family, yeah. How do you, well, you know, how do you fix that? You know, I... I to cut kids, them loose, kids. Cut them loose. <laughs> Goodbye, kids. You're defending for yourself. Kurt, no, that is that's not a way to get. Oh, it. Hey, girl. you know what's funny? My son yesterday was like, "I really want McDonald's." I was like, "Well, how are you getting there?" And uh, he's like, "You." And I was like, "Well, I'm not going to McDonald's. You know, we can eat something here, and I have this and this." And he's like, "Well, I don't want that." I was like, "Well, do you have any money?" <laughs> <I don't, laughs> it, was, it was just questions, and I was like, "Are you going to walk?" He's like, "No." And so, I mean, we found him something to eat and better than McDonald's. Yes. But yeah, it was just a conversation. Just remember this, guys. All of you out there in um, the land of social media here in the studio, people on the radio, KHE radio, we're so glad y'all are tuning in. Remember, if you eat make-believe food, the best you'll ever have is make-believe health. And so don't deceive, delude yourself, deceive yourself into thinking that you can get away with eating junk food and processed food for your entire life and it not catching up to you at some point. Yeah. You know, I, I just have to quickly say, you know, one of the things that, you know, going back to how do you, you know, when the whole family's on board, when I was in Vermont, I was, and I was not part of the safe community. My Fridays and Saturday nights were out drinking, partying, having what I thought was a good time, but I was literally wrecked. Destroying you know, your you, body you too. You wake up, <laughs> you wake up the next morning. And how old were you? I was probably like 20, 25, 26. So what a typical, what I thought was my age to do. And your body's wrecked. 
you know, you wake up, you have that, that nasty hangover and you're sitting there and you're like, okay, no, now what am I going to do with my day? And you literally ruin all day Saturday, you ruin all day Sunday. And it's like, okay, now it's back to work on Monday. And you feel like you're eating awful the next day. You're eating grease to make up for it. And it's just like, <laughs> or you're reaching for artificial rocket fuel. The minute, the yeah. minute that I became saved and I started associating myself again with the right people being here at Abundant Life Christian Center, taking part in stuff here on the radio at KHEA Radio 99.5, all of those things have really changed my life. And I, I'm surrounded by the right people. My, my family is understands and realizes the the goals that I have and they've gotten on board um, and I'm I'm praying spiritually so my relationship with Christ is and now connecting with you and doing things like the 21 day cleanse and eating even eating better than what I was is all part of what I love doing and I think that's important for anybody who's listening is get your connection right get spiritually filled and start doing the right things to your body. And you're going to start to see things just prosper. And Ooh. I have seen that well, in the last like 15 in this place. days. Yeah. For real. Amazing. I haven't heard you talk about cheese in a while. Cause it used to be, Kurt, it's kind of funny, but Kurt was always talking about cheese. You know, he was, he, he loved cheese, but he always had allergies. Always said, you know, I can lose some weight, do some stuff. And now I can tell, and I know other people have as well. They Kurt, you know, you're, you're slimming up and just looks like you're, you're feeling good. On Sunday, I had to actually go back into the back. I was running cameras for Abundant Life Christian Center, and I, my pants were falling down, and I had my belt, and it was at the last loop, and I was like, what do I do? I do not want to be on stage, and I'm pantless. You know, that would be the worst for any church service ever, you know? Yeah, and so bad. I had to go back, and I'm like, Guardy, can I borrow your knife? And he goes, why? I'm like, I need to cut a hole in my belt so that I can tighten it a little bit more. And he's like, no, you can't do that. And I'm like, I'm going to lose my pants because of this diet. I didn't want Kurt to lose his finger because of the diet either. That's why I was like, Kurt's going to be trying to make a, a hole in the belt loop. It's going to slip with my knife. And then I'm going to have to clean it and put it back in my pocket. And then I'll always remember this knife cut off Kurt's finger. But thankfully... Your dad helped me. My dad. And I was like, oh, yeah, well, yeah, you can't cut a hole. My dad can do anything. So my dad pulled out his knife and, and put a little hole in, in the belt loop. So I, I had to create a new hole in my belt <laughs> over the last, like, I'm. this is day 15. Day That's 15, awesome. I'm probably down two belt loops. Because, yeah. you know, like, the other one was kind of tight, you know. A little too tight. A little too tight, you know, probably. You even noticed I had a shirt on on Sunday. Yeah. And usually that shirt is, like, should, bursting out the seams. Yeah, like, like it's should like, Kurt be wearing this shirt? I don't know. Like you see, like little the, but, the buttons are saying otherwise. <laughs> and I that one was loose. I'm like, wow, where is all this coming from? Yeah, it's nice. I bought this shirt, this purple shirt that I'm wearing, in September of 2016. And at tw September 2016, I was still healthy. I wasn't like as healthy as I am now, but I was still probably at like 190. And I'm at 199 right now, or 197. And this shirt is loose. And this shirt used to be tight on me. That's awesome. And look at that. That's, that's and they how say much. That, okay. And this is this is a good time to talk about like what's what's important. Is losing inches in, more important or losing weight? Now, yeah. I made the call earlier that when every 10 pounds you gain, it's an extra miles worth of work for your heart, right? But, for, but, but the inches that you lose are a sign that you're losing real weight. And what's happening? Remember, where do those toxins stored? In your brain. That's why you walk around, can't remember why you walk into that room. Stored in fat cells, those fat cells can swell up seven times the size of normal and, and or in your joints. And that's why you walk around with arthritis or what I like to call what? Arthrongus. Arthrongus. Because there's nothing <laughs> right as about it. But the deal is, is what's happening, Kurt, is those fat cells are were swelling up. People are not fat. That, that word is so demonized, right? Yeah. The fat has a point and a purpose in our bodies. But the fat cell swells up seven times the size of normal in order to protect you. It's trying to hold on to fluid in order to dilute the concentration of toxicity in your body. Wow. And through this process, you have been clean, cleaning out your body through the Ultimate Detox Program. Uh, this is what, why I started Living Well Clinical Nutrition Center is to give people testimonial like that and just kind of saw it. The first person that ever went through this process was a, a gal with, uh, you know, um, uh, cervical cancer and she was told that she was going to lose her uterus this is at like 22 or something um, she was going to lose uh, her ovaries and and we had a, one of our doctor friends Evan Maladinoff up in Dallas well he was, he's in um, the head team position for the Kansas City Chiefs at the time but he was at a seminar in Dallas and he turned us on to a version of this detox 
And in 21 days, she went back in and had no cancer. Now, wow. now I'm not suggesting that this is going to a cure or, you know, for or, or treatment for cancer, all right? But I'm just suggesting that your food is your medicine, and what you eat is important, but what you don't eat is more important. So lose those inches, lose that weight. We're talking to, talking to Dr. Aaron Chopper right here on 99.5 FM KHEA Radio. We're also live on Facebook. Just search KHEA Radio. If you haven't done so, like and follow that page. Dr. Chopper, I have a quick question, and this comes from the, the office ladies that were at your office yesterday. They told us to talk about the gallbladder cleanse. Is that... Oh yeah. So if y'all want to do something at another level of uh, exciting and crazy, so so here's the deal. <laughs> is, they said I? it's so intense. Remember, do I? <laughs> remember, remember. I am a detox fanatic. Right. Every, I mean, everything from coffee enemas, gallbladder flushes, liver flushes. I, we have cardiovascular cleanse programs for people that have been diagnosed with arteriosclerosis or placking. Uh, I mean, we've got tools to support your body because mm -hmm. why? Food is your medicine, yes. right? I mean, it's Food really that simple. Fuel. It's food is fuel. It should dr it help our bodies perform like it's supposed to. Um, and so the gallbladder flush is a five-day protocol at, where you can purge gallstones from your system. I've passed over 300 gallstones. I have counted. Uh, That's uh, a lot. From, and you poop these out. People get worried. Am I going to pee those out? They think kidney stones. These are not yeah. kidney stones. These are very soft. Uh, pliable, they're green, they're black or tan, depending on what part they're coming from, from your system. And uh, But I did this once again to figure out what this was all about and to have an experience. And the whites of my eyes were so crystal. The blue was so blue after I did this. And I passed probably about 75 stones that's uh, that following morning after I drank this little olive oil cocktail. So it is an extreme process, but we've had people with hot gallbladders that, you know, when I mean hot gallbladder, they would, in a medical situation, they'd be getting it removed. Uh, we've been uh, able to help them go through a process like this and calm that inflammation down, get that gallbladder under control, pass these gallstones, and, and, and allow their body to not have lost their gallbladder. Does gallstones wow. pick up, like, weight? Like, do I what have do mean, probably, wait? like... like a no. pound of gallstones. Oh, I mean, if you had a pound of gallstones, that would be, you probably wouldn't, you'd be in dire straits pain. Like, but here's the thing. I passed all those gallstones. I don't, I mean, maybe, I, they were liver stones. They're in, they're in the gallbladder. They're in the bile ducts. I mean, and over, I didn't pass all these at once. I mean, I've done 17, 18 of these flushes. So my body was actually forming them. And, and so we have to figure out, you know, why is the body formulating these Gall, these gallstones and there's metabolic liver congestion that's creating that and and again it goes back to eating the wrong fats getting into msg partial hydrogenated oils uh, high fructose corn syrup and um, uh, artificial sugars so how do you, how do you i guess what is that diet like it, it it's just really how, how does that look how does the gallbladder cleanse look like what does it consist of apples pears applesauce Apple, a uh, slight little bit of apple juice, and then the drinks, and the uh, and and then well, and so then there's some supplements that we use to help dilate the gall, uh, the, the bile ducts, the uh, and help prime the the liver and the gallbladder to purge all these stones out. How many days are we talking? Four days. So it's like a, like if you started on a Tuesday, you'd be finished on a Saturday. So I could do this like when we get done with this 21 day cleanse next Tuesday. You could technically go straight into it. Do you recommend something like that? I've done it many times. And he's a professional. Yeah, and and so, <laughs> and again, uh, but you could totally, you could totally do it, and it's another level of uh, uh, experience that you would learn about your body. And I think the more you learn about your body, the better. So, us next Maybe week, I need to talk about it. I need to think this through. I don't like oh, making decisions on, where I'm just like, I'm going to do it because I don't want to say I'm going to do it. And then it's something for whatever reason I can't do. All right. It. So somebody's asking, what's the best way to get started, uh, easiest way to get started on doing a detox? Uh, just and, do it. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Uh, you know, Annette, thanks for tuning in there. Just do it. Uh, I mean, call Nike. our office, Living Well Clinical <laughs> Nutrition Center. Go to justlivewell.com. Call our office at 281-554-8600. And, um, and just say, I want to do a detox. And we got Jennifer over there. She could work you through a pro program. Our office is equipped to take care of you wherever you're at. If, if, this is, if you're a veteran detoxer or if you're a, a brand new to this concept of detoxing, 
we want to encourage you to uh, just just do it. Get after it. That's why, by the way, it's funny that you say that because uh, you know Nike says just do it, right? Mm-hmm. I start uh, justlivewell.com was kind of based off that just do it mindset. I like it. Yeah. So something else I want to kind of mention the foot detox bath. That's something that we the the foot detox or is that what it's called? Or so uh, they they got many different names, but we call them just foot baths in the office. Yeah, the foot bath. So me and Kurt, I need to go. I need to go do them because I haven't done one. What's the deal? I know you should have been doing them every Kurt, week. We need to go do one. Have yes. you been doing it and not telling me? I can't, I can't oh my speak. goodness! I feel like I Kurt's like I'm gonna get healthier than Guardy. He's That's doing. Like, the, he's using all of his resources and tools. Wow! So if you ha- are not sure what I'm talking about, at Doctor Chapa's office over at the Living Well, well Clinical, Clinical Nutrition, Nutrition uh, it's off of Five Eighteen, but they have these foot baths that they do where you put your feet in the water. It's clear water. You run it and it pulls all this stuff literally coming out of your feet. It turns the water into like jet black it looks like oil so and we call it texas tea oil it's all good right so mm-hmm. people have, have a lot of um you know they they get freaked out by these food baths because it's new it's different it's weird right. right and we're so like prone to if it's not normal that it can't be you know that's or if weird things come into our presence we kind of get you know freaked out by yeah. it or we question it we're skeptical about it because, you know, you, so I've, but I've had patients that get out of that foot bath and they've been nauseated. I've had patients get out and they've had a headache and I've had to upload them with, you know, minerals and things. Because the foot bath can't differentiate between uh, your just chemicals, metals, and minerals. Sometimes you lose minerals, so we always replace minerals on the backside. And, um, and it's, very, you know, we, we've learned this through the years of using it. If you take medications even, we don't want you taking a medication that you're supposed to be taking before you get in the foot bath because it'll pull stuff out. It wow, is the medication. Drawing. And so the first clinic that I was in up in Spring and Tomball area had all these devices in there. The second office uh, that I started uh, myself down here in South Shore, we, we didn't have those initially. And my, my mentor at the time said, you need to start your practice with these tools. You won't, you'll regret it if you don't. Well, I couldn't afford it. I mean, I had I was on a shoestring budget, and mm-hmm. you know, uh, and and we did what we could. And I it took me five times, uh, not, not five times, uh, six months longer to get people better. Like if somebody would normally, if they could come in and I could get them better in three months, normally up on the north side of town, I could get them better in uh, as fast as about six months down here. Oh. And I thought it's the chemical plants. That's what I was blaming it on. Mm-hmm. You know, up there in spring Tomball, maybe the air was clearer, maybe it was better. You know, more trees. Um, and we down here we're surrounded by Bayport, Texas City, Laporte, you know, Pasadena. We got all this stuff floating around in the air of toxicity, and that's why people are sicker, right? Well, when I brought the foot baths in, my results immediately changed, and it, it it blew my mind. So from a clinical perspective, I'm actually really blessed because I had them, I didn't have them, and then I had them again, and I was able to see clinically what happens in my practice. So when people come in and they question. You know, skepticism. Ah, I can't work. You know, that's right. that's that's that, that that that's not accurate. Um, what I tell them is clinically, what I've observed is very different, and so I can only talk to what I know and what I've seen in clinic. Mm-hmm. And my office is my laboratory. It's my teaching ground. It, it teaches me so much. I had the pleasure of witnessing like a couple people yesterday who were doing the foot bath for the first time, and it was kind of cool. Oh, to oh see. really? Tell me about it. Uh, they they were like, "Oh, I, I don't know about this," and immediately their reaction was like, "Oh my gosh, look at what's coming out of my body." Yeah, and they're like, "Why is it so black?" It's like <laughs> mine was so. But you should have seen mine. It was worse. Uh, yeah, my dad did one. He sent me a text the other day. He was like, "Hey, what's the place? Where is it at?" Okay, so I told him, and then he went. He did one last week. He sent me some pictures and. It was like the before and after. Was and he freaked pretty, out? You know, I don't know if he was freaked out necessarily, or, but he was just maybe like, oh, cool. prepared him. He knew what it was going to entail and what it was going to be. So, but he had definitely, he wanted to try one. He saw the video with Kurt and then he saw, you know, other people talking about it. And he was like, hey, I'm going to go try that. See what it's about. Yeah. And, and look, it goes back to any level of detox. And we had a person come in yesterday. She was sick, sick as a dog. So if you're sick, we just turn the polarity around and do what's called an iontophoresis foot bath, where we can actually drive minerals into your body. Wow. So we can actually strengthen you, uh, not just detox you. And people think, well, shouldn't you always detox? Well, yes, but if your body's already in a distressed state, and detox is dis- can be another level of stress, mm-hmm. we don't want to create stress for you all the time. Sometimes people come in and they're so sick, 
we're focused just on building them foundationally, get their vitamins, minerals, essential fatty acid levels right, and, and then getting and taking away those foods that are heavily infl inflammatory. And then uh, we use things like the iontophoresis foot bath to dr drive up their mineral concentration so that their body feels better. It's more awesome. electrically active. Awesome. We're having a blast talking to Dr. Aaron Chapa. He brought us some treats. He brought us some chips. These are awesome. They're grain-free tortilla chips with lime flavor. And then he has some homemade green salsa, the toma, tomatillo, the green sauce. It's the good stuff. It has some good kick in there. What all is the ingredients that go on that green sauce you brought us? Oh, so tomatillos, those are the uh, – uh, you probably know that. Just, I did. Just I actually tried to make some, but mine didn't, wasn't as spicy because I cleared out more of the, the, seed. the seeds of the jalapeno. Was it too hot for you? No, this is great. Yeah, so that's got so that's that one full jalapeno. Mm -hmm. That's with the uh, and so what we do uh, is cilantro and avocado, and you can sprinkle some lime juice in there, and we use Himalayan pink salt that we use in our office. Awesome. And and so what that uh, that stuff is is this. I mean, what a great snack! You can put carrots in there, celery sticks in there. You can put um, you know cassava chips in there, cucumbers in there. Uh, you can just eat it like. With a spoon. I mean, yeah. it's so good. I was putting it on some of my veggies that I did even because I, I made a whole bunch. And then I, the next day, I was like, okay, you know, I cook veggies and I just put some on top. And it was good because it's all the ingredients in there is just vegetables. That's all it is. Yeah, that's right. I have fallen in love with guac. I have fallen in Look love at this, with it. this guy. He was Be afraid of avocados. Well, you saw the again. picture I sent I last night. Did you see that? The I veggie did. burgers? Yeah. So I made, or I made turkey burgers. Cause we can I was wondering one, how you, if you were going to like those. One white meat. And then you, I cut it up into little pieces, and then I put it inside of lettuce, and then guac sauce, and then I had hot sauce. It just hurts my ears every time you say guac. guac. And we've talked about this before. <laughs> Can you just say guacamole? Guacamole. I don't know. Guac. Just say it. Say whatever you want. I don't know. It's is it, delicious. Is it, <laughs> so do you say it guac or guac? Guac. Guacamole. guacamole. Yeah, guacamole. I say guac. I know. Trust me. I know. Okay. I remember yeah. when I was explaining to Kerr, this was like a week ago or so, I was like, telling him you know what the ingredients in guacamole are because he was like i hate avocado i hate the texture but i love guacamole i'm like dude it's literally and he like broke down the ingredients for him and he's like oh okay it's good it's it exciting. is good it's delicious I, I have added the veggie fajitas to my number like to my 11 of meals i have literally had that now probably five or six nights awesome. in this 21 day challenge yeah because I, it's so easy to make it's just a matter by the way i was gonna be mad at both of you just for a little bit. Can I get mad really fast? Yes. I'm mad. excited. We want to see you I love, yeah, this is okay. I love it. I have literally spent countless number of hours sitting there cutting up the freaking onions and the peppers and all <laughs> these other stuff and like taking hours and countless hours of time hours to do of it. cutting vegetables. Okay. And I hated it. I was like, I hate this. I hate cutting vegetables. Then I go to HEB because I go, you know, I go shop at Walmart. I go shop at Kroger. I, I've never been to HEB. I go to HEB, and guess what they have? Already cut up veggies, four fajitas already in there. It's true. And I just have to <laughs> unwrap the thing and put it in the, the, the pan, and I was yeah. like, I will pay all day for something like this and do it this way. And no one told me well, but see, that look, they already had these. We had to get you confident and comfortable oh. at the grocery store. Remember two weeks ago you said, I hate the grocery store. <laughs> I do the grocery hate, store's not my hate friend. The grocery store. It's an hour, it takes me an hour to drive to the grocery store. There's excuses. I feel like there's excuses for everything, not just you, uh, but a lot of times I make excuses too. Like I can't eat healthy because of the cost. I can't eat healthy because, well, my wife may not want to eat it. Or I can't eat healthy because of the kids, you know, and there's always excuses, but just like attempting and trying and then like figuring out what works for you and your family. And now you found like, hey, this I can't cut that the can vegetables. Work. Yeah. I or still hate going it. to grocery stores. Well, and the closest HEP is still a hike. 25 minutes away, you know, it's not 25, but it's still a hike. <laughs> but it's, it gets longer and longer every time. It's like, like a 40 story. minutes drive How to big the was a fish you caught the other day? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 20, that 26 fish? inches? Oh, it was like 23. Oh. Make sure you get it right because, you know. <laughs> I was on the verge of it. It was like another it. inch longer than I would have had to like release it because it would have been bad. Bull red. So, uh, uh, Joanne just said, you know, just to make a comment on the foot baths, the largest pores in the body uh, are on your feet. And so you can actually pull out stuff. Well, it's not just there. It's also in your hands. It's where your senses are most, um, you have the most neurologically dense neurological areas of the body. They call the hands and the feet your metabolic download sites. Um, and think about it. What's the most important thing you keep alive? 
your core organ systems, right? That's your heart, your liver, your kidneys, your intestines, your spleen, your pancreas. You keep all these things working efficiently. Well, if you uh, have toxicity floating around your body and you're dehydrated, your body is having to keep the vital core organ systems clear and clean. So it will push toxins as far away from the vital organs to protect you. And your hands and your feet, technically, think about it. You could live without your hand. You could live without your feet. Now, it might not be fun. A little hard, <laughs> yeah. A little bit, you know, hard to get around and do what you like to do. But you can't live without a heart. You can't live without you know, your vital organs. Mm -hmm. So, another Man. little testimony to that. Right now, we have a couple minutes left, and we have Chef Mary Bass, who's going to be in studio. Dr. Chapa, you've been awesome. If, if anybody has any extra questions, anything that they want to know, that they want to ask Dr. Chapa, please feel free to ask now. We have a couple minutes left. I'm going to kind of let Dr. Chapa introduce himself again. Uh, let, let people know who you are and where they can find out more information about you. Yeah, so my name is Dr. Aaron Chapa. We own Living Well Clinical Nutrition Center. Uh, we love helping people get started in, in the wellness journey. Uh, whatever your health condition is, whether you've got uh, allergies like Kurt was dealing with or you're chronically fatigued, can't get out of bed in the morning, or you feel like your body is just not performing at the level that you feel like it used to, could, you know, you got the case of the suddenlies uh, where, you know, suddenly I can't do the things I used to perform well at. Mm -hmm. uh, give us a call, 281-554-8600. Go to our website, justlivewell.com. Take one of our health surveys. Let us know how we can serve you best. We're in League City, Texas. We're excited to serve the greater Houston area and beyond. We have we do phone consults all over the country. I was talking to a gal up in uh, Michigan yes, yesterday. She's uh, doing a fertility program with us. We have a great fertility uh, support protocol that we offer to you know pregnant moms and as well as a postnatal program as well. So if you know whatever your health situation is, we want to be a resource. We, we, we believe that if you're sick, we can help you get well. We believe that if you're hurting, we can get your body to calm down that inflammation process. I love it. So 281-554-8600 or justlivewell.com. Yeah, give Dr. Chapa's office a call. Everybody that I've dealt with there has been super awesome. Kurt's been there a little bit more, and I think he thinks they're awesome too from what I hear. Mm -hmm. Kurt's been, been there doing some extra work with Dr. Chapa and... It's great. I'm excited to get back in there. I want to do the the foot bath. I need to get in there, see what's up. Are you going to do it in the yeah. uh, hot dog costume? Maybe you could trade out and oh, borrow the hot dog costume. You know what? The only way to do wow. a foot bath is in the <laughs> hot dog costume. Just I'll saying. tell you this. I will never be caught in that hot dog costume. <laughs> I guarantee that. He knows too much. That hot dog uh, costume needs a trip to the hot dog cleaners. Yeah, I'm sure. Where they does. steam that bad boy I remember, a couple times. I mean, he was smelly <laughs> before he started all this process. Oh, yeah. Dang. So we're going to take a break. We're going to get some stuff together. We have Chef Mary Bass joining us in this next hour. You're listening to KHEA Radio 99.5 FM. This is Kickstart. We're going to be on until 11 a.m. Coming up next, LFC Creative. Thank you. Right here on KHEA. Dr. Choppa will be back in next Tuesday at 8.30, so stay tuned. We love you guys. God bless you guys. Have a great one. So, Facebook, stay tuned because coming up next is Chef Mary Bash. She's going to be talking about her new restaurant that she's getting in store in, in Galveston. We're going to be Seafood talking House. about some seafood. We're going to be talking about some Tacos. Uh, cooking classes that she's doing, so you're not going to want to go away. She's coming up next. Yeah, that was fun. I had a great time. I didn't know you had all those great testimonials, dude. The, chip, pretty awesome. the chips are gone. The chips are gone, though. That's, Don't ask hey, about there's the some chips. crumbs. Next time, I'm just going to bring uh, food. Where do you buy this? I got that H-E-B. It was on uh, the one on uh, uh, that particular one I found on the gluten-free uh, chip uh, or snack food aisle. Kirk, are you that, man? Yep. Gluten-free. So it's not with the chips. No, it was not with the chips. Those rascals. <laughs> That is a good, good look. Dress. Look what Mary brought us. I'll wear the hot dog costume. Hey, <laughs> which is awesome because we were out of these chips, but we got more. <laughs> oh, <laughs> more chips. <laughs> this is awesome. So we got plantains. Plantains. So check this out, Mary, Chef Mary Brass. 
brought us these, and we have this tomatillo sauce. Hey, we're gonna be doing Dr. Chopper is awesome. Yeah, we're having fun with these guys, that's for sure. Well, I'm sure it is. <laughs> this this bag will be gone. Do you want which one do you want? I've never I want had the plantains. The plantain one, so I need to you want the plantains? I'm taking. We can share. Why don't we just? Dude, okay. I brought y'all salsa this morning. Yeah, now we got these. Uh, I made a tomato sauce. So once you pop, the fun does not stop. I guess there's a little notch right here. Might, if y'all were nice, y'all might share with. Yeah. Chef, Mary yeah, Bass. So the oh, it's nearly cool. impossible to like pull this bag apart. Here, try some of this. This one. Have you ever had the plantains? Yes, sir. Well, I live in Dickinson, but. Ooh. What part of Galveston? Uh, all of it. <laughs> <laughs> Katie Seafood. Just uh. You have a you have a restaurant down there? Opening one. Oh, cool. Yep. How do you oh. these guys? Uh, I went to school with Gardy, mm -hmm. and I went to this church for... Grew up? 22. Yeah. Oh, oh, with the sauce. Those are my favorite. I used to do paleo, and so, like, trying to find a paleo-friendly, crunchy option was nearly involved. And so these were the best. Mary, you went on a boudin tour. Man, <laughs> so, yeah. I got, I've got the third leg of it coming next. Awesome. In Louisiana, right? You're. Are you, is, are you from there? Mm -hmm. I'm from Galveston. I'm born and raised Galveston County. These are great. It's close to. Uh, I mean, I I'm know. loving it. It's not, I guess not really Louisiana. So what's Facebook this up show to? Really being my best show. Y'all are just gonna end up watching us eat. Eat some yeah, chips. We don't need anything else now. Dude, those are delicious. Someone said we're, they were going to bring in donuts tomorrow, and I said, no, no, no. Only <laughs> veggie chip. So are these from so, HEB as well? No, I got these from Kroger this morning. Kroger. In Dickinson, and okay. In the produce area. So, like, when you round the, the pastries, yes. there's, like, a little section of chips before you hit the organic veg. Okay. They're right there. And they're like, this bag was four bucks. I'd pay that all day long. See that's that that's crazy how they don't put like these with the the chips section. That's I what know. he was saying well, about this stuff. It's confusing. The they don't want up. that. Yeah, you got to go to the gluten free section. Mm -hmm. The bougie people who are eating funky hunters. But it's okay, right? You got to think about it. You at what level? You're learning. You're growing. There's many a day. And you're every every day is a, new <laughs> Joe, day a better day. Joe said Mary never brings me chips with a bunch of exclamation points. <laughs> hey Joe Perez. However, I have offered chicken and dumplings like Ooh, fourteen times. These so. are healthier. I feel like it's a level up. These these are healthier. The plantain version is healthier than these ones. Why? Because this one has canola oil. Canola oil. <laughs> cannoli. <laughs> is it like a cannoli a thing? <laughs> cannoli is press. a thing. So is that better than straight up? What's that? It says expeller press. It's it's I like mine because this one has coconut oil. Cannoli oil is cannoli oil. Any words that they use after that or before that is Does just. Have... It's just the Come way they go about it, and they they do it. To Get that cannoli oil away from me. What do you think I am? I'm just kidding. I'm eating these. Do it. It's all you look gone. good. I feel like the keyboard is in a really dangerous spot. To, you know, yeah, when you start reading and labels. And you start <laughs> noticing that your um, My allergies, allergies flare up, canola oil goes straight to the liver, so it'll clog it up. With it. And if that's, your, that's where most people's allergies live, is in um, the liver. So you fix your liver, you fix your allergies. Hmm. So if your allergies flare, then it might be. My you know how good you've been feeling all morning. And just yeah. See, that's, the, that's the game. You're, you're, you've got a good platform to start putting stuff back in and see how you do. So I'm going to turn these away, though. autos off. These are, these are too tasty. Uh, well, I'll put something here in a safe spot. <laughs> autos off, so we're going to go on next. I'm going to take your personality. Yeah. 
What's up, guys? And we're back. Some behind the scenes stuff. That's mm -hmm. some uh, exclusive content. Yep. You got to pay. Dun, da, 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 da. <laughs> I'll bless you guys. Bye. Well. See you soon, Dr. Jabba. Yeah. Nice you. to meet you. Yep, pleasure to meet you. Shit. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Can we get an intro like that? Joe Perez, get working on that kind of intro. Um. Okay, so the plantains are really good, too. Um. I was going to say something really fast before we went on, but now I yep. forgot. Good. I'm glad you're on board today. <laughs> See, this cleanse is working well it's for your brain. His, yeah, his brain. <laughs> he was actually talking hey, about that. Hey, it's going further away from your, your all the toxic stuff is going further away from your organs and straight to your brain. Do you like Kurt's haircut? I do. You know, it mighty fly. our guest told him that he looked like Alex Bregman and like, you know, oh, for the Astros. That. And I was like, oh, that's the last thing yeah, he like, to please. hear. He was like, ooh. Ooh, I look like Alex Bregman. Please say y'all saw the cute little baby doing all the baseball stances from that the Astros. I didn't. Was oh, like a viral clip or something? My goodness. Okay. Yes, there These is this. chips. Those have canola oil. Can you say canola? Canola. For Thank being you. from the corn, Man. you should be able to say canola. I've never had to say what's in my ingredients before. Now I know. It's the worst having to read through ingredients, but then when you realize all the crap they put in stuff, you're like, uh... Sometimes it's just better like to be like, mm -hmm. <laughs> just turning the ingredient away. I don't want to know. I'm making so it for you, taste. Do you make sure like when you're cooking that you're not cooking with some of those bad ingredients, or how does no, that work? No, it's not my aesthetic. There are plenty of chefs out there like a healthy that thing. do healthy things. That is not me. However, I do... Like in my house, my household, I try yeah. to avoid things that are like high fructose corn syrup and yeah. red dyes and stuff like that. Just paying attention to. So it. you do do like some catering stuff, right? Yeah. If somebody asks like how to catering like a wedding, and they're like, "Hey, for like a healthier option, is that mm -hmm. something that yeah. someone can get?" But see, most I would say like ninety percent of our menus are completely fresh, made from scratch. Mm -hmm. So if you're just cooking from scratch, and you control all your ingredients then you know what's in there sure okay Kerr wants to start us with weather um i think that'd be easier and so what kurt gets kurt wants sometimes what a, what a precious chips. little sweetheart very, chips. very it's rare I, I registered to vote yesterday i am so, I, you know I, we're what? gonna talk about that i think that's fake i think that's fake news he just like found like a, a postcard nope, that was a that was a voter it registration was? Okay. Card. i'm gonna tell you all about that <laughs> Good morning, you're listening to KHEA Radio. It's the top of the hour. A brand new hour. It's a beautiful morning here at 99.5 FM. This is Kickstart. I'm Gardy. And I'm Kurt. We have another special guest in studio. I'm excited to talk and learn and just see what she has going on. Chef Mary Bass. Mary, what's up? Good morning, everybody. How's everybody doing? Doing awesome. Yeah. Facebook, how are you doing? We're streaming live on Facebook. Yes, it's my favorite. Go over there. All the cool kids are on Facebook. Everybody's on Facebook. I'm on Facebook. I'm even watching on Facebook just so I can see the comments. It's always good to kind of to tune in that way. But what's up, Facebook? Hopefully, uh, y'all are having a good morning as well. We had Dr. Aaron Chopper in studio. Now we got Mary in. Mary, what have you been up to? Um, you know, I thought we were doing weather. Oh, yeah. Kurt wants the weather. <laughs> do oh. the weather, Kurt. Woo! Let's dance, do it. dance, Kurt, dance. <laughs> <laughs> this is the KHEA Kickstart Weather Center brought to you by Texas Chronicles, history, mystery, and adventure with Curtsy, the cornless, Casper. It's currently 85 degrees right now in Lamarck, Texas. It is going to be a high of 94. It is going to be chance of showers and thunderstorms this afternoon. 7.53 is your sunset. Your sunrise tomorrow morning is at 6.51. There is a slight chance of showers and thunderstorms in the morning. Wednesday, 95. Thursday, 94. And that's a look at your weather for the next couple of days. Cornless, Sorry about that. The cornless Casper. Yeah, we're not the allowed to have corn. Casper, we're like... not allowed to have corn on this thing because we found out it's a grain. And so we, we're cutting grains out of our, our food yeah, for so this 21 days. Okay, so wait. I want to hear about this and then yes. we'll go back to my life, which is very exciting. <laughs> right now. So you're not doing grains. No, no grains. grains. No dairy. No, no dairy. dairy. Soy, gluten. Exactly. No. It's, it's out the door. Mm. So all we're doing is... I have any, wait, hold on. Limited, let her keep going. You've limited your red meat, pork. Yes. And No are, red meat. Are you, are you back to fish and chicken yet? Yes. Once. once a, would so it be easy? all your fruits and all your vegetables, except potatoes and corn. Yep. But sweet potatoes? No. No sweet potatoes. Why? 
I because guess, I don't know. We ha- he has he a reason. No. <laughs> I don't know. So we're, we're no no potatoes, no sweet potatoes, just for this time. So it's it's so twenty one days. It's a season. This is not forever. Trust us, because we Enjoy. go to too many good places and hang out with too many good chefs <laughs> to be trying to say that this is just so forever. So, what's the purpose of the cleanse? Is it just to like restart your body and like get you all the- exactly? He re- said it's like a a little jump start. It kickstart. kickstarts your health. Ooh. He said it's about like three months worth of work done in about three weeks, mm-hmm. where we added some like vitamins that are all natural. And like reading the back of these vitamins, it's like, hey, it's ground up beets. It's ground up. You know, That's all cool. these different vegetables. And it, it's been interesting because we're not doing caffeine. We're doing like limited salt. And it's changed everything about our lives, seriously. No, and, they're great. I remember when I did paleo, which was kind of the same concept, but you can eat all the meat, yeah. and fruit, and veg that you wanted. You like, your brain feels better. It does. And we're clear. And your like skin. My head is shorter. And like your skin thinner. feels better. And you, like, I would cut out caffeine too. I yeah. slept better. I woke up in the morning and actually wanted to be awake. Right. Mm-hmm. All those things. Kurt's getting more work done, going to sleep, getting good sleep. Hour. Oh, man. No, I'm still going to sleep at my later hours, but I'm feeling more energized even with only getting like six or seven hours of sleep. You know, I'm feeling like I that's all I need. That's awesome. Yeah. It's For been good. Keep it up. How much longer do y'all have? One more week. One more week. But so. then I encourage you not to just jump back into eating crap. Exactly. Nonsense, sorry. Um, because you'll feel worse that's what yeah that's what we were thinking so like just continue like slowly integrating see i tried the casper during the cleanse and it didn't taste as good as you know what he's talking about right yeah that that sandwich sandwich sandwich. yeah no it still tastes delicious it does taste delicious but it didn't taste the same well then you'll just learn new things that you can eat like you get real creative especially when you go out to eat like you're like, yeah. can I get this with grilled vegetables and da 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 yeah. instead of rice and beans? Can I get a turkey burger without the bun instead of lettuce? Yeah. We've had to get creative even cooking other than like other than just like eating the exact same thing every day because mm-hmm. it's only vegetables. And after I guess like five days ago or so, we were allowed to do one meat meal a day. Mm-hmm. So it's only one. So other than that, it's still vegetables and yeah, fruit. But there's so many different like H-E-B is the greatest for that because they yeah. have like jicama taco shells. Yes. And they've got all the spiralized vegetables and they have the kits now. Like they're very user. The world is very user friendly for vegetable eaters. Oh, for real. Like I loved H-E-B before, but since doing this, I'm there every day almost anyways. Yeah. But even more. And I'm eating stuff that I've never tried. Like I've never tried this before. It's like spiraled beets. And yeah. I was never eating beets, but I, I got them at H-E-B. There spiraled zucchini, a, spiraled there squash. There is a company or a company, a business in Leak City. Let me find their name. Um, and they do a a box every single week, and it's fresh fruits and vegetables. It's Natural Living Organic Food Co-op. Cool. They're the coolest people. The owner's name is Lisa Piper, and she does like a fresh um, box of fruits and vegetables every week, and it's all completely organic, and her whole store is organic, and she has a completely organic kitchen, and so you can go in and have lunch mm-hmm. there. It's right next to the park on um in league city the big park in in historical league city so, so that would be a great place for what's y'all the place to... again it's called natural living organic food co-op so if you participate in that she has a box readily available yeah, you well, go you and go pick with, it up you pay like a subscription for the year to be able to participate okay but then every week yep that's it cool. every week you can go and like pick up your share and it's the coolest fruits and vegetables so a lot of times you can try new things that you're not accustomed to trying. so when something's a co-op that just means there's people in the community that are the organic farmers and people that have their own vegetables mm-hmm. and so they would come and pretty much sell it and then you have the opportunity to get that stuff yeah but i used to get it cool. with the kids and we we got all kinds of cool fruits and vegetables that we wouldn't normally have purchased and we found some cool things that we really enjoyed so you know um, that sounds kind of well it reminds me a little bit of you know froberg's and alvin yes so we had a flat there the other day i was with kurt which mistake number one i shouldn't go any more any further than like five miles with kurt in his car <laughs> so we went all the way to alvin wow. we get into froberg's and i was i was so excited i was like oh they have like organic, it's like an organic market in here. I've never yeah. been to anything like that. So Froberg's, they ship in a lot of their stuff. And so they're not like a true farmer's market. But okay. they, most of their product comes from within Texas, but they're still just a grocery so store. So the Leak City one, that's people that are like these are like area. Our, Yeah, these are like our area and all organic. And you know that it's going to be awesome. And so um, cool. definitely check them out. And, and even better, they've got those... Um, 
they've got the kitchen there so you can go and have soup and they like work with all kinds of allergies so if you're dairy free or gluten free or soy free or whatever it is you can go in and she can tell you exactly what that's in. cool that's why kurt you've been going to naked nutrition that's some of our friends over there located at mall of the mainland like in the world gym foyer and they do meal prep stuff and so while kurt's been on this different diet this cleanse and detox you've been working with them right yeah I, I, they just made my meals for lunch and dinner for the week and it's fresh veggies and then i have That's a awesome. salmon and veggies mm -hmm. for the the dinner it's great i love it it's easy for me to do i don't have to worry about cooking they if were I'm on, on the go they were on a couple of weeks ago weren't they was it that was yeah it they, they've been on before yeah yeah she's awesome yeah it's, awesome. it's two owner yeah sean and misty they're over there um, but yeah, we love them. And no, there's another one called My Macro Meals, and that's the oh, gentleman yeah, that's, that's up the there. Gentleman. Yeah, no, so that's cool. I like it. I like that y'all have taken and you're creating your own little community around the radio station. Like you've got all these really good resources that y'all built, and everybody like loves food. Well, everybody <laughs> does love. You food. need it to survive. It's crazy. Yeah, it, it's amazing. I can't eat this pinata taco and still live. I need. I need a real taco. Yeah. No, we're we're. I'm on board. <laughs> we've been we've been menu writing quite a bit lately. And cool. So, How's that going? Great. It's going really good. When is when is the don't say it. Okay, I thought he was gonna say like when is the Casper you know fish dish <laughs> coming <laughs> fish out? Ooh, I was, I was, wait, I was trying to cut him wait, off. Wait, wait, he, he didn't even think that, about even that. Think about, you're oh, making the menu now. No. Oh, no. Are you gonna have the Casper on there? It's Katie's Seafood House, right? Yeah, there ain't gonna be no ghost taco on there. Like we're good. The ghost taco. Oh, it has like ghost, ghost peppers. Ooh, no ghost way. peppers. Nobody can actually eat those. Like they're so hot. Yeah, I'm not I, eating them. I have to be able to eat. How funny would it be if, you, if someone ordered the ghost taco and you come out and then empty plate? Empty yeah, plate. empty plate. <laughs> <laughs> it's for ghosts. Kurt's cracking himself up over here. I'm sorry. <laughs> we'll have guys. it as our daily feature one day. <laughs> yeah. You are done. Take him out of here. Take roll about. He's in a rolling <laughs> chair. Roll about. Yeah. Roll, roll on the chair. R O T. <laughs> See, Kurt, you need stop to take a him, break. Guardy, stop him, Stop <laughs> him. The need... toxins have gone to his brain. Stop yeah. him now. <laughs> Man, so it, it's a good morning. It's yeah, been it's a, a good, good morning, morning so far. We have Chef Mary Bass in studio. We're having fun, hanging out, streaming live on Facebook. We're actually streaming live on our brand new YouTube channel as well, which we just found out is real and a thing. So <laughs> if you just search KHEA Radio on YouTube, we How have cool is that? a live stream on there as well. We also have a database of all of our videos that we've done and giveaways and, and features. We're also recording just the audio of this because we're thinking about starting a podcast. People have been saying like, hey, can I podcast this, you know, on this service and this? So today's day one of us seeing how that goes. Well, we're extremely entertaining, so I don't know why people want Oh, yeah, people love this. Us. We want to be available in every outlet and every I'm possible a, format. I'm a fan of the social media platforms. Like I've built my companies around social yeah. media, so I'm a huge proponent of them. If you don't get locked out from them. Yeah, what the, what is going on? <laughs> What's, so, what did you do? All I've been doing, I guess, is I, I copy and paste our giveaway videos mm -hmm. into the talk groups. So, and now I can't post or comment in any talk group. You know what he did is I think he, he shared he it like into a barbecue the, one or something. Or but like, you're saturated. Somebody, somebody has reported you. That's what ha happened. It was me. I, I think it, yeah, it's our rival radio So you need, stations. you've saturated the market. And so now you need to diversify your content. Interesting. So you need to post like not things that. But we just like the radio doing station. giveaways. Oh, that's do, fine. Uh, but you need like on your personal page if that's what locked you down. Kurt Casper's personal page is locked down, correct? Yeah, I can't post or comment in any group. Okay, so you need to diversify your your content. You need to not just post things for the radio station. Yeah, I was thinking post about, some of the pictures of the food that you've been cooking because stop sending them to me, yeah. and then I will see them in the food groups yeah. that you post. So then you just need to you need to get out there yeah. and not be diversify your posting. Yes, I like that. I started doing that. So I started commenting on, if I see something that looks good, like in a food group, I mm -hmm. say, that looks good. Yeah. If I see uh, a video like Texas Chronicles does, I, I'll watch it and I'm like, wow, that, that's cool. That's that's awesome. You know, like I love that place and, yeah. you know, shout out. So. so then you need to like, even for you, you need to be like, I like this about this. Like, man, yeah. the color looks really good on that. Like, like you need to start okay broadening okay. y'all's horizons and then it makes you a more valuable member like people will come to you because they like what you're saying well that makes sense so they build your brand better that's good so i saw one of the comments that i left was on a picture of a 
cup of gumbo that somebody had put potato salad on top of. Oh, yes. That's they, a thing. They said that's something from Louisiana. Yep. It's it, a, that is a Cajun tradition. Yeah, because someone was like, well, I grew up there, but maybe that's not a Creole thing. Yeah, it's a so Cajun, Creole, Cajun Creole and Cajun. Creole is city food. Cajun is country food. So cool. the, in the country. It looked good, though. It's delicious. That's what I said. I was like, wow, I've never thought of that. I love combining food and making it work somehow. That's like chili and uh, cinnamon rolls and chili in the Midwest. I saw that. That's, hey, a, that's thing. a thing? That's a thing, too. That's a know. Midwesterner thing. We don't Is Nebraska know. in the Midwest, Kurt? Yes. Have you ever heard of that? Cinnamon rolls and chili? chili. This is more like... Yes. The, yeah, that's that's definitely... So I never enjoyed it, but that was <laughs> that was what we liked. But, it is think, a thing. but if you think about, like, in Latin food, they use cinnamon with ground beef. Like, think about mole. So it's not a far stretch to get a cinnamon roll into a chili because the flavor content is all very similar. Is that going to go on the menu as well? Cinnamon, cinnamon roll, roll chili? chili? Absolutely not. We're no. not in the Midwest. Nobody down here is going to get it. Hey, so we are streaming live on Facebook. We got Jennifer Lopez Fuller, who is the the head of a, a cool food group that I was she actually just talking about. Amazing. Like, she's one of the coolest cats there is. I don't know how she gets as much done as she does. Yeah. Seems like she's busy. We actually, we tried talking to her a little bit yesterday, and we did. We had a great conversation. And, uh, yeah, I've been posting in the group a little bit in there. The uh, That's where I saw that gumbo. Yeah, the gumbo the potato was potato salad there. on top. Yeah, Bay Dope. Area. Houston. Houston. Food. Foodies. Lovers. lovers, yes, that's right. Bay Area Houston food lovers. If you haven't checked them out on Facebook, they give just a, give hit a over ten thousand like. fans. In yeah, the group. like ten thousand um, contributors, members. contributor community members. Yes, and some awesome. of us can't comment or ten thousand foodies participate anymore. Yeah, well, Kurt's man, lost his you, privileges. I'm, I'm telling you, I'm you in need, Facebook jail. I don't understand how that happened. I really don't like. You. Somebody reported me. So what I'm thinking about doing, is Jennifer, creating... was it you? <laughs> no, <laughs> it was definitely not Jennifer. <laughs> no, I, I think it. I don't know. It's got to be somebody either in the talk of Leak City, talk of Galveston, or talk of Santa Fe. I'm telling you, it's Mark Zuckerberg. It, it, he did it. He did this to you. The, I asked. I was him. banned for like the weekend. Yeah. And so then I restarted posting again on Monday. <laughs> And I was posted, and then like literally, I posted three times in those three groups, and it was tagged. I wonder also if the word giveaway flags it as a robot or a bot, and so Facebook automatically yeah, so assumes I'm a using robot. The word giveaway. Yeah, I know. We're gonna try. I'm, but I have to sit and wait now until Monday. It's hard because we so like to give stuff away. Yeah, but just say prizes or oh. win, win or yeah. We need a thesaurus. Know. Yeah, you was supposed to say, where's your thesaurus? We don't have a thesaurus. <laughs> we, we, you know, we had the Moore Memorial Tech City Library in studio yesterday mm -hmm. with Paloma. She should have brought a thesaurus. She should have brought a thesaurus. But you I know think... what's crazy is they have apps on your phone for that now. And boom technology. Boom technology. Yeah, yeah. You no, know, I'm super excited because Jennifer and the Foodie Group is going to partner up with Chef's Table Charities. Sweet. And we're going to work on some um, fundraisers that's going to help. I actually got a tip the other day about um, one of the local high schools where the kids don't have enough money to eat lunch every day. Mm -hmm. Wow. So a lot of teachers buy snacks to keep in their rooms to feed the kids because how can a kid perform if their stomach's growling? Wow, that yeah. doesn't make any sense. Like right. for us, we don't even think like we get to choose what we want to eat. Like yeah. how cool is that? These kids don't even have the choices and so you know teachers are coming out of pocket for another thing which is snacks for their classrooms or fresh fruit for their classrooms so we're gonna partner with Jennifer and the Bay Area food lovers and have them um, raise some money and we're gonna buy snacks for these teachers classrooms so that they can um, help these kids feed so that they can take better test scores and it's just a, it's a continuous cycle so yeah I cool. saw on Facebook too speaking of like partnering and stuff can you talk a little bit about your partnering with some stuff with Santa Fe High School too? Oh, we've been, so this last weekend, um, we had a group of students that were either in the art room or near the art room that were shot or not. Like they, they all of the kids in those rooms are having um, struggles. So Sunday we took yes. them all to Dave and Buster's Woo. and we played for like three and a half hours and the parents got to sit together and, and visit and it was amazing the it was one of the first times the parents had really like got to sit and talk to each other and um, kind of like go back and forth about the struggles their kids are going through because a lot of these students have ptsd 
for obvious reasons. And then the kids just got to be kids for a couple of hours and play. And then they started school on Monday and I got to text some of my students who I've been working with and um, got to tell them, you know, have a good first day of school. And, you know, I'm here for you if you just need a, a drink from Sonic or if you need a pedicure, like, let's go, let's go have do something. So it's just giving them an alternative. I'm not their mom, but I'm a mom. And so, you know, just to hug them and say, you know, it's going to be okay. You're going to make it through this. You're stronger than you think you are. That's awesome. So all of that's been going through the charity and we've yeah. been working. You know, I have to say that you are one of the leaders in the community who, who rose up and said, hey, people need to come together as a community. Yeah. Love on one another. Let's do it in, you know, in good times and let's just keep it going. You right. know, like not just have like a tragedy or something terrible happen. Well, because happen. people come and they go. Like you look at Harvey and all these people rush in to help yes. and then they leave. And right. then, you know, with Santa Fe, it's the same thing. Everybody's rushed in and then they, a lot of people have left. And we're here to prove that, you know, we're going to stick by the community, Galveston County as a whole, in times of peace and in times of crisis. And that's really what the Chef's Table Charities is all about is, you know, we're going to offer support, um, you know, from now until it's no longer needed for that particular incident and when we have another incident occur because you know you can't you can't um help mother nature and you can't help human nature you can just yeah. try to you know negate the effects of it and so we're going to be here to really um work through those and work with the community and then what's been cool is the politicians and the community the upper community members are starting to realize like oh they're not just a fly by night and they're now reaching out to us like we need yeah. help with this project we need help with this. awesome so it's been that's been really cool i Very got emails cool. yesterday from uh santa fe education foundation just saying thanks for doing what you're doing and that made me feel good that you yeah. know, it's, it's neat that they're starting to recognize that we're actually here and doing mm -hmm. good things so. we're talking to chef mary bass this is khea radio 99.5 fm if you're watching on facebook please feel free to like and share this video out. We're letting people know in the community about all the cool things Chef's Table Charities is doing in the community. We also want to put some awareness on Katie Seafood House that's opening yeah. in Galveston. And my mission for this restaurant and the menu that's coming out <laughs> is to not have Kurt weasel his way into a menu item. That's all I want. But I will put a lot of effort into potentially getting like a kickstart item like a menu item name if it could be uh, weaseled in the kickstart something yeah Ooh, i don't know a breakfast item obviously are you gonna be open for breakfast hours i think eventually we will have brunch so awesome. but it's gonna be a lot of really awesome waffles is brunch only like on sundays so i could eat brunch all days oh, but yeah. um it'll be like a friday saturday sunday that's brunch. cool you're not living life if you're not brunching is that right Brunch is really the best meal. Like lots of families do breakfast for dinner kind of scenario. Oh, yeah. Yeah. My, I think it's probably my kid's favorite. And yeah. we do big breakfast. We do like roasted sweet potatoes, roasted potatoes, bacon, pancakes. Waffles. All toast. the eggs. Yes. Oh. Delicious. Bre brunch is where it's at. If you haven't been brunching, Guardy, you're missing out. Kurt, okay. First of all, take a step back. <laughs> I have eaten brunch before. Okay. I used to live in a place where they had like a bunch of restaurants and I'd, I'd go... Second, I guess like breakfast for me is a little bit different, like being Hispanic um, because, yeah, we would sometimes have like, okay, like pancakes and eggs. But like I remember Sunday mornings, like my dad making, you know, chorizo con huevo, like eggs and, and yeah. sausage and, and have, have the tortillas, tortillas on there. And your salsa. And then like, you know, papas con huevos and, and stuff like that. And I love avocado. I love, man, that's for me, that's it and is what it is. Tortillas also would be. Walk. Yeah. So I don't know. I love avocados. I'm the avocado whisperer. So, like, ooh, so what are some cool things you can whip up with with avocado? I saw an avocado drink the other day. Like somebody made what? a mixed drink with an avocado, and it was the coolest looking drink I've ever seen. So we started putting avocado into some of our like a protein shake. Yeah, smoothies and such. Yeah, so it gave it like a thick consistency. Yes, it's a great binding agent. Changed it up, and it doesn't break. So like you can put it like a lot of times fats will break if they get too warm. Okay. Avocado doesn't really do that. Yeah. But you can mix it into anything that you want a smooth texture, smooth consistency. Interesting. But then you just also have to keep in mind that it needs to be consumed within a timely period because it's going to brown. It browns, you know. And it and it doesn't just brown. It browns and it tastes sour. So you've got to 
Got to move quick. Yeah. You know, sometimes I'll buy like a little thing of guacamole from H-E-B, right? Mm -hmm. And so they make like a spicy one. It's really yeah. good. And right now it's like their hatch chili. Yes, month. yes. Hatch chili is awesome. In. It's the best. So I always just like, oh, it's a little brown on top. You know, you open it and then eat it the next day. I'm yeah. just like, just stir it around a little bit. And it kind of like, so you should out. scoop that the off. whole thing off. Yeah. But the other thing that you can do is put a layer of water with lime juice on there. So like before you close it up for the night, mm -hmm. smooth it flat, put a little bit of water with lime juice, put your lid on it and it will keep it. And then when you ready, you know how you pour the water off the sour cream or yeah. the yogurt, you just pour the water off stir it a little bit and eat it and it'll be perfect so it's a little it preserves it a little bit yeah it just gives you it gives that air barrier to keep the the avocado from oxidizing cool. yeah i love avocado kurt wasn't a really big fan of the texture but since he's been doing this different diet i mm -hmm. think that his tastes are starting to change which is awesome a little bit i, I yeah i mean i love what is it apples <laughs> oh that but, crazy fruit um, the yeah. apples Apple, ba banana. banana bananas you sound like a minion <laughs> banana banana <laughs> this is what y'all want to hear you're listening but to plank. KHA radio uh we're talking to chef mary bass hanging out having a good time yes what now you, is this your first time eating plantains what are what are plantains you know the first time i think that you had plantains we went to a place called signatures that is off of NASA Road near 146. Mm -hmm. um, yes. It's in, Key is that Kima? Seabrook. Seabrook. It's in Seabrook. So it's a restaurant over there where what they did is they had like a ceviche, a shrimp cocktail, which I'm a big fan oh, of. Oh, yeah. I love that stuff. The shrimp yeah, and the tomatoes, Capuchana. onions. Yep. And so yep. what they did in this is they had these big plantains. Yep. They were kind of like plantain chips and they had it sticking out in there. Mm -hmm. And so I guess how you would eat it and kind of like Ooh. gave it a crisp. Yeah, they're chips. So... That's plantains the first time I think I had fried bananas, right? Well, it's not they're banana. not bananas; they're plantains. They look different. they're in the banana family, but they're different. Like, they're different. Oh, okay. See, I didn't know. See, these you things. can't slice a banana on a mandolin or a plantain. You can't. But if you get them and they're really, really soft and ripe, you can slice them and fry them or cook them up. Cool. And they make. You can either do just fried plantains, or you can do something called tostones, where you fry them once, then you smush them, then you fry them again, and they make these big chips. They're delicious. Ooh. Sounds good. Maybe that's what we had at Signatures. You know, for the no, first time. No, you probably, if you if they were long and skinny, they sliced they were super, them. They were like this long. And they sliced them. Tostones are like flat discs. Like you could make a tostada out of oh, okay. the bottom of the plant. Yeah. So the other thing that I've tried that I really, really enjoyed was I, I cut a banana in half. Uh, and then I, I forgot one thing. I should have sprayed the pan a little bit. But mm -hmm. I, put the banana, I cut the banana in half and then I put cinnamon on it and then yeah. i put it in the oven and it was delicious it's got a lot of really great natural sugars are y'all allowed to have coconut sugar not, sure. not at this point so like we're trying to cut all sugar out you know so like no honey no agave nothing? right not at this point okay so i mean but those are things and we've talked about this he said after we get done with the 21 days and you know mm -hmm. it's probably like a timeline to reintroduce stuff like hey don't eat red meat for like three to four days and then mm -hmm. like try it Listen to your body. Well, if you just if you're getting it. the lean red meat, then it's good. It's not horrible for you. So I'm, like just, I'm, I'm brisket, ready for barbecue. No. Brisket. Yeah, no. No. That's part of who I am, though. It's not lean. <laughs> it's, it's, I, how can I have the Casper sandwich without it? <laughs> just get it lean. Yeah, just get the lean side of the brisket. You just the get fat, like without the, the bun. Cap. Just get like the lean brisket, and I don't know how the cheese would do. I don't know, man. What would happen if after this is over, like you eat cheese and it doesn't taste the same? Maybe it's not good to you anymore. Would you like move on I, and be like, I'm a guacamole man now? Here's I the love problem. Guacamole. I don't think I have the I, – I, I thought of this the other day. I don't have the desire to eat cheese. Like there's no part of me that wants to sit there and say I want to live unhealthy again. Like craving. Like just craving. I don't craving have any cheese. cravings at all. Yeah, and I used crazy. to. Like I, when I – when I've done diets in the past, mm -hmm. I've always had to have a cheat meal. Like, oh, I need to have a cheat meal. I haven't had a cheat meal. Once a day. I have exactly. had a cheat meal. <laughs> once, a, once a meal. <laughs> yeah. So well, for the me, whole thing's a cheat meal. For me, that's what's really exciting about all of this is I I want good food that's healthy for my body and make it taste good. I have fallen in love with peppers and spices, though. because That's the great because your palate was really mild before. Oh, yeah. I, I had hot sauce. On my like veggie fajitas the other day, like what I literally put on? hot sauce, and I love it. I well, because peppers all of are it. a great way to introduce flavor without introducing any of the bad stuff. You mm -hmm. can roast them dry. Red pepper flakes oh, are no. delicious. He's, he's, he's I turned. literally, pull, I literally, <laughs> I have a hard time. I I cook it like the the veggies, mm -hmm. and I'm literally like licking the spatula. 
like it's the spoon for my cookies. Like I'm licking it because it's so good. Yeah, it's awesome. Look See, how look Kurt, how cool you are. Kurt joins Bay Area Houston food lovers on on Facebook, the group, and all of a sudden he's like a food connoisseur. Like oh, the peppers, you no, know, the, the, pepper, the, the, the nuances. <laughs> I have this awesome. I have to go and find it again because I'm almost out. I've had it probably for like three or four years. It's a Cajun spice. Okay, listen, wait, stop. <laughs> spices expire after six months. If you what? have spices longer than six months, they lose their potency, and you need to get rid of them and rotate them. Okay, mm -hmm. continue. But but what you can do is mix a bunch of them together, make a house blend, and use it on like burgers and steaks oh, and stuff. Cool. Yeah. So you don't have to like trash them completely. Yeah. But you really need to be to get your maximum flavor out of spices. Six oh. months. Oh. Well, I still love it right now, and it's been in, probably in my fridge forever or in my cabinet for a while. So the cool thing about that is, and we're gonna go back to H E B. Like they're gonna become a sponsor of this show because I love we talk about them so much. They're in their organic food aisle. Um, they have spices in bulk. I know the water. I'm, I'm oh, showing the HB label. HB buddy. HB buddy. <laughs> yeah. So they have spices in bulk, and you can put them in little Ziploc bags and weigh them out, and you can just get what you need for that week. Yeah. And, and they're significantly less expensive. Well, I used one last night that I had, had it, and it was 68 cents, and yep. it's a little package, but we had had it. It's not yeah. six months old, but um, so it's a dish that me and my wife had made, you know, maybe like two months ago, right. and we called for it. So you don't have to buy the whole thing. It's you don't have to buy the whole thing. Yeah. And the other cool thing is, is if you go to somewhere like the container store, you can buy the spice containers mm. and then have those that wash and then go buy the spices from H-E-B and put them in the containers. And so then you have a way to seal them. Yeah. And they, you know, sit nice on a shelf or something. I've never thought of that. The container store, like as a chef, is that, do they have a whole bunch of stuff I don't go in there food? because I will spend all the time. Dangerous. Dollars. Yeah, it's dangerous. I, I went and looked at like the organized closets they have. It had me like wanting to take out a loan for like $15,000. To put in a closet. I was like, oh my gosh, my closet, I, I'm missing, but it's crazy. I, I need to go to the container store because I've also realized as a single bachelor, which is my new phrase. He's that throwing I've it up, out there. Singer, single bachelor. Single bachelor that I have absolutely no containers to store food in. Oh, like it's called Tupperware. So, so here, <laughs> I don't. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. What's that? I also like there's, there's other things. Yeah. I don't have, see, I don't have any. Now you have so, one. But listen, you need to, if you're, if you're living this new best life that you're going towards, you need to buy glass. Glass is better. Why is why is that? Because there's all these like chemicals that leach into the food okay. from the plastic containers. Now this is not something that I adhere to, so please don't come to my house and judge me by all the amount of Tupperware because my <laughs> children would throw the glass containers away. Yeah, they're just those kind of humans. <laughs> but they make the glass containers with the pla they have plastic snap lids. Uh, but if you're gonna make an investment, and since you have no children. I see. I've, I so then I was like, oh well, I'll just set it in like this thing that doesn't have a lid, and oh, then no, I put wa horrible. wax paper uh, around it. Wax paper. Who owns <laughs> wax paper? What I grandma's house paper. did you steal wax paper I, from? I made these like bread things from the school one time, and you have to put wax paper. And so I think I've had it forever. The once again, the it's braided expired. bread. Oh, the br the braid, bread braids. Yeah, that's so funny. I had to have wax paper for that. <laughs> um, so I kept it. <laughs> Oh man! There's no use for wax paper. Listen, I I accomplished something big yesterday. Oh, I no. registered to vote. I yesterday. know. Okay, listen. Let's talk about voting. So okay. You registered first step. So, this is the greatest thing about being an American is you get the like. I'm gonna I'm pull my voting. bald eagle and my flag out. No, listen. I'm still not voting. Why? Ever. Because Why? I'm a journalist. And no, I'm no, a no. Journalist. You don't need to talk about who you voted for. Listen, but I don't care if. You <laughs> I please don't, right, please but, don't talk about you not voting on the radio. But, yeah, That's exactly. terrible. Listen, but, you're going to get a bunch of picketers outside. Yeah, Pastor Hallam's literally watching on our live stream <laughs> right now. But, and I'm hoping that you get fired. No, for I'm, this. Hoping but, you, I'm hoping to just change your mind. Because think about this. You ever met Walter Clement? Yes. Okay, no. he's like the coolest dude ever. Okay. Yes. Agree? Agree, yeah. He was in the army. Mm -hmm. He goes overseas. And he's there to fight for other people's rights that we have from being an american I'm, I'm not saying that that's not bad i love it but i just would feel bad if i voted for somebody who got into the office and let's say i go back into being a tv journalist or a news journalist again and then i voted for that person to be there and how can i unbiasedly cover that person who is now in office well that's a character flaw in your own self See? yeah so is that something that journalists like in the news industry they say hey don't vote no. they, they have been always said like 
you're like probably being don't biased talk about it. Yeah, it's be really biased. hard. But see, for me, that's a, a, a hello. Have you ever watched CNN and Fox News? Those people are biased. Those people I, vote. Not real journalists. You're on a you're on a lower level here. It, okay, at a minimum, go vote for your your local government. Go vote for your. See, but I used to be a local journalist, and so that that's where I even struggled. You're not even as more. cool as you think you are. Go vote. Please I'm gonna stop. Go I'm gonna stop this right now because Kurt has a rebuttal, literally for everything. If you told him water is wet, he's like, well, no, but you know, actually, and he'll like try and argue uh, it into vote, the yes. ground. And I, I went know as far. you, you oh, and then he keeps vote. going, Kurt. Literally, you're 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 going coconuts with this. <laughs> so I, I literally I tell my son that too. I'm like, dude, okay, you take a step coconuts. back. This is I say arguing ask about answer. it. I love I love having the right to vote. I, I love great. I think it's very important that we're involved in our community. Uh, that's why I like Chef's Tables, you know, charity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I love our local government. We bring, you know, Mayor Bobby Hawking. We're bringing the, bringing the mayor of League City on and uh, other officials because I love to talk and get the feedback that what they're what they have going on and it's a lot of fun. Yeah. Yes. So. so listen, even if you don't vote, you don't have to talk about not voting because exactly. I don't want you to sway somebody else into not voting. Say that it is our right to vote. Mm -hmm. So I did go to register. If you aren't registered to vote, you can go to Moore Memorial Public Library yeah. and fill it out. You do have to put it in the mail yourself, but, <laughs> but you can fill it out there. Well, and, and you can cards. do it there. You can do high school students over the age of 18 have access to it in their own schools. You can do it in, you know, there's any of your local libraries have access to that. And I'm pretty sure there is an online page for you to go. Wait, so be careful. Just don't pay $80 to register to vote because it is a free service. It's a scam. <laughs> yeah. Kurt has been known to fall into scams like internet scams. And you think for him being like this bright journalist and breaking news, he would know like, hey, this is free. But sometimes it happens to the best of Kurt. Thank sometimes. God he's pretty. He'd have nothing else going for him. <laughs> oh. wow. I'm talking to Chef Mary Bass. Mary, I saw the school started, right? The kids went back to school. I saw some oh, fun that was taking place on social my media. Goodness. Yes. What's so, the story behind that? So four years ago, I don't always jump on the bandwagon early. Like I didn't get my kids going back to kindergarten doing this. So four years ago, I said, I'm overly excited. <laughs> <laughs> about sending my children, my precious little sweethearts back to school. Yeah. That, and if anybody knows me, like I'm a good mom, but school school's necessary. Love like, the teachers. Oh oh my God, I love teachers. I yes. love teachers. They're the hardest working people. They have the worst job. In the you world. want a yellow binder? I'm gonna buy you the binder. That'd I'm gonna buy story. you whatever <laughs> you need. Like and I tell them that like I send notes to school like I'm not your mom to do a bulletin board. But I will buy you whatever you need. Yeah. So four years ago, I took just a really simple picture of me in a chef's coat, like excited that the kids were leaving. And then the next year, I took a picture of me with a glass of um, punch. Yeah. And we we posted that, and it was really funny. Then last year, I just did a poster with like something like "Bass Kids Rule the School." I saw that. You know, one. Yeah. Da, 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 da. And then Harvey hit. And we had to go back to school again, so I did a secondary, like, bye, Felicia. Let's try this again. Let's yeah, try this one again. one more time. So this year, I was like, okay, look, bigger, better, 2018, 2019, and I bought the dinosaur costume. <laughs> did you see that? Did you see the video? I did. I saw this big <laughs> oh, no, old dinosaur. Walked. Yeah. So, I was like, oh, that's jealous. So it's great. <laughs> yeah. So I now own the dinosaur costume, which is phenomenal like i think that every family should own a dinosaur <laughs> costume can i have can we can the dinosaur costume and the hot dog like do yes something? let's have a video let's, let's go viral let's do a viral video i think that's what it needs but i'm a carnivore so like please don't eat me you at risk so uh <laughs> anyway so we we did this i did it like a reveal yes. of the costume to the children and so that was hilarious and then I did, we did pictures with the dinosaur that says, please take my kids back before I have to roar. And <laughs> oh by Felicia's and da, da 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 Yeah. And then last night, Viva got in the costume <laughs> and did a funny dance. And I saw that. <laughs> it's hilarious. So Viva's now fighting for who's going to get more views. Oh, like, I like she that. She understands the, the concept yeah. of, of view content. So she wants more views on her dinosaur video than I got on my. Does she have her own personal page though? Viva does have a page that's inactive. And it was like quotes by Viva or something mm -hmm. like that, that I used to do when she was three and four because she says the most ridiculous things. Yeah. But I haven't posted on it in so long. I'm sure that like Facebook's turned it into a. She's, she's also in Facebook jail. She's. 
Uh, it's Just more join me and the Winklevoss twins. Yeah. We're, we're locked in the <laughs> Facebook jail. <laughs> yep, forever. Eternity, pretty much. I mean, if you're going to be stuck in jail some, with somebody, Viva is like... Oh, the, I thought you were going to say the Winklevoss twins. I, like, don't know, I don't even know who they are. <laughs> They're like, the ones who like yeah. made Facebook. Yeah, it was well, their idea. Have you made. ever seen the, the movie? Oh, the social yes. And they were also like Olympians. They went to yes. Harvard. And they actually were early investors in Bitcoin. And the rich become richer. They were like, yeah... We only it's have a hundred million dollars. Make those decisions really early on to. Do, oh yeah. You know, in anything, in anything, you make those decisions. You make them really quickly, and then you roll with your decisions. Yeah. So the, those who lay around, they don't. Yeah, you got to get on in on things early ground on the ground levels. level, and then yeah, next thing you know, Katie Seafood House is like booming. Booming. And then you Ten were like, man, coming. I I should have been there in the beginning, involved somehow. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So when is that going to be popping up? It's still this year, right? Katie Seafood House. Katie Seafood House is this year. When we're ready is the official answer. Okay, cool. Can I tag them in the video? Of what? Their Facebook page. Yeah. Can I tag them right now? Yeah, because I run it, so <laughs> go for okay, it. Okay, I just didn't want to put it out there. I know, I know the last one time you were on, and there was like, hush, oh, yeah. hush, 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 hush. No, Can't we're, past, no we're, okay. we're good. We have, we got a thousand um, fans on that page. In cool. Week. So, Ooh, that's a little bit quicker than us. You know, we broke 1,700 last night. Wait, this what? one only has 22 likes. That's no, the wrong one. Katie's then. Seafood House. I know. It's it's funny because, like, once we hit that 1,000 mark, I think we've gotten, like, over, like, 650 new likes in the past, like, 20 days, which is kind of nuts. It's amazing. Well, no, it's not because at Facebook's an algorithm. Mm -hmm. So once you hit Katie's Seafood House, no. if you're on Landry's, definitely not. Scroll down. <laughs> Scroll down. It was right there. Anyways, Facebook's a... Oh, right there. There you go. Hey, we're getting a call. All right. Oh, yeah. man. Kurt's going to be taking this. Probably Katie being like, hey, why are you talking about my seafood house and mentioning Landry's? But right now, yeah, it's all good. It's 1045. We're talking to Chef Mary Bass, hanging out, having a good time. She's the... It's the executive chef, right? Is that the proper the title? executive chef. That's as, as high as it gets. In, in the, the kitchen. In the kitchen. And that's opening this year. We're excited to be announcing some information as oh, that comes along. We have a question, Kurt? I don't think so. I don't know. But we also had Dr. Aaron Chop on the show earlier. We have about 15 minutes left of the show. He was awesome to meet. And uh, yeah, man, we love Dr. Choppa. We got a lot going on. And we have, you know, I'm excited. I'm excited about the rest of this week. We have um, TJ from I-45 now. Have yep. you ever met him? I have. You see, uh, he's pretty cool, huh? He's a cool dude. Yeah, I'm excited. I, I know he Kurt is. He used to work for the Galveston Daily News. So before uh, he was... He, he branched off and is doing his own thing, yeah. which I like because he's able to get more places. Like what's cool about being an owner of a business is it's just like, I'm going to make this decision. It is what it is. Yeah. And TJ, he runs his own news agency, so he makes those decisions and he runs with it. But he's got really cool people who bring him content. That's awesome. Cool. And he also focuses on our community. Yeah. This is us. This, this is, is us. Yeah. And so the Houston's huge. You know, the world is huge. Sometimes you watch ABC or, or ABCs or, you know, any news yeah, place, NBC's social media, they're talking them. about way far away no, he, and that he has really focused in on Galveston County and is doing good things I'm really excited to find out you know a little bit about who like it's it's a different mentality when you work for Galveston Daily News like you're covering stories for the newspaper and right being on social media and kind of doing the way that he's doing it it's groundbreaking in a way well and I think got... it's really scrambled like KHOU, it scrambled, you know, the well, and Daily that, News. It's true, and but now also he, you know, since he was already respected to begin with, he is able to feed news to those agencies that they might not be able to get as quickly. Yeah, I saw that. because He's he like, just takes his iPhone and mm -hmm. just goes and films things. I have found so as a news person, like we we were in Nebraska, you know, it's so widespread. You had to have bureaus throughout the entire state. Right, so right, like right. you had an Omaha bureau, you had, you know, a all the way in the the West Panhandle, here in Houston, I don't think there there is a bureau in Galveston. Uh, I, I haven't seen no, any. I don't know. And so for, I think they just send reporters out. Yeah, but you think about it. Like if there's a major breaking news that happens in Galveston, or even in like yeah. Santa Fe, it takes them an hour. It to takes get them down. an hour and a half or, or longer to yep. get down there. And so what he does is he provides that outlet in this community mm -hmm. for breaking news that we living in here really truly care about. Right, and he also does more local stories mm -hmm. that are more 
that people like to, I would rather read what's going on in my 30 mile radius yeah. versus, you know, what's going on on the north side of Houston. I don't even know what those streets are when he's like, oh, this street, this street. I'm like, I know that street, you know? Yeah. Uh, I saw that he had did something, the the mayor Lamarck and the, the city and a bunch of people had gave a house to a veteran that, that was wounded the other day. And it was really neat because they were there live streaming it, even yeah. like the town hall meetings, live streaming it. Yeah. All kinds of stuff. Also, I think he's partnered maybe with Fox 26 in yes. Houston because I see yeah. he's like, hey, our partners at Fox 26 and kind of feeding him the story. And, and Fox well. 26 does a really great job more so than the other networks of doing more local stories. Like yes. they are really, really out of all the news agencies in Houston. They're the ones who really get out there and get those, um, you know, Galveston County stories. Okay, so quickly before we go, I want to shift back to you a little bit. Oh, man. Uh, so a person called in and they wanted to know within your new restaurant, are you doing cooking classes and how can they get involved in doing some of those cooking classes? No. No? We will not be doing cooking classes. Are You're you going to be doing anything outside of the restaurant? No, not really. You have to focus everything on the restaurant, yeah, if right? You, there's, there are so many good cooking programs in the, in the county, multiple of them. And I would send them to those places. So I won't. Do you have any off the top of your head? Like what's the Yeah, the Kitchen Chick is where I worked for four and a half years. They're down on twenty third and market now. Awesome. And they're phenomenal. Alicia Cahill down there. And um, yeah, just Google cooking classes Galveston County and they can all come up. Awesome. Cool. Well, having the recommendation of Chef Mary Bass, who's been voted as like one of the best chefs and if not you you're like the best chef aren't you like um, voted three by years, the people three years running that's yeah, it's a cool. people's choice award it's a giant popularity contest i just happen to be the most popular there you go and that's how you do it i guess yeah, yeah exactly you know 40 under 40 yeah oh. that one was super cool that i didn't realize how cool that was dude all the pictures and the headshots like going through mm -hmm. It's legit. It looks awesome. I, I enjoyed reading it. And Kurt was like, who's the youngest? He was like, oh, that's what it is. I'm not 30. That's what it is. But I was like, no, this 23-year-old guy is like running a company by himself and started it. Yeah. He, Kurt must have skipped that one on purpose. No. But, but next year, Kurt. Next year. I already it's told him. I said, thing. if I'm not on the list next year, then this list is flawed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, at least, I'm at least the top 80 in Galveston County. Come on. Come on. Listen, we just need do to they do they other people have a sandwich named after them at the Texas Pit Stop Barbecue? No, we're no. gonna put that in your interview. That's like literally the only thing, <laughs> my only <that> accomplishment <laughs> in life. Come on, oh yeah, you're listening to KHEA Radio 99.5 FM. We're hanging out talking to Chef Mary Bass, the best chef, the most popular chef right mm -hmm. here in Galveston County, opening a, a new restaurant this year. Yeah. Katie Seafood House. Yeah, I wanted to talk before, you know, we got about nine more minutes or so. How does this hour go by so quick? It goes by fast. Magic. I don't know. Everything that we talk about, I mean, we literally, we have not taken very many commercial breaks during this. Like, I don't we think took we, one. Yeah. Uh, the, the whole show, the whole two and a half hours. That's amazing. Um, but I wanted to talk about the cake balls really fast. We haven't Ooh. talked about the cake balls yet. And I had my first taste of the, the cake balls that you create. Yeah. When you came on the show the last time, when we had you, our thousand party. And then you came and brought, bought some. Yes. So mm -hmm. I, they were so good, Guardy. I didn't even tell you this. I, <laughs> I maybe texted Mary and I was like, Mary, I need some I need some cake balls wow. in my life. And she's and like, well, come get them. Yep. So it was literally and then my like. my precious little children run the door, run my, my It scheme. was a dozen cake balls. And they were gone in probably a day. Yeah, I, I always tell people, I'm like, put them in the fridge in case you don't eat them. They're like, they're not going to make it. I did. Out. I put mine in my fridge. I did not eat them all like the same day. They did last a little bit, but I loved the the grasshopper ones. That yeah, the, the mint ones. and chocolate. That is my favorite. The banana ones are okay, but the grasshopper ones are like, <laughs> they, they were like, my mouth was watering when I got done eating them. Like, not everybody loves mint. It's really? like a pol mint and coconut. Like those are polarizing flavors. Mint is? Yes. I just think of like, see, for these girls, are Andy's mint. So Girl Scout cookies. Yeah, thin like, mints. Thin but mints? people don't like that. Flavor. I don't even think of any other Girl Scout cookies. Are there are there any other flavors? No, that's it. See, thin mint. I like well, we used for the the cookie formerly known as Samoa's caramel delights. Caramel delights now. You know why that's a thing? Why they changed it? No, they didn't change it. They oh. added it. So there's two. So Girl Scouts got too big, and there's two bakers. Okay. And Samoa's name is. Is trademarked for one baker. Oh wow! And Caramel delights are the other baker. 
So that's why they have like one's tagalongs and one's peanut butter patties. They're the same exact same cookie, but two different names. So different parts of the U.S. get access to those cookies. So I want you Samoas can still back. get Samoas, <laughs> but like North Houston has Samoas. Wow. Because they're a different baker. I thought it was like politically correct. Like, hey, we can't name this, you know, cookie after a, some a tribe. people. Yeah, it's <laughs> like, hey, that, maybe that's not the best thing. We should have no. thought this through. No. Interesting. This isn't Washington Red Hey, you've been, pushing, you've been pushing cookies for a while. Uh, yeah, Kensington started in first grade. And she's now just entered seventh. Do you have an estimate over your, your career? The most we sold was 2,200 boxes one year. In one year. In one year. Personal. Not yes. true. Here's the problem, though, is I wasn't a part of that year. Like, you didn't sell to <laughs> me because it probably would have doubled if yeah. you would have sold to me. I, I stock she, up. On the low end, I think the first couple of years she sold, like, the first year she sold 700, and then the next year it was, like, 13, and then it was continuous. This last year, I think we only sold, like, 1,600 boxes. Yeah. Wow. And that's personal between... Your child. <laughs> my, chi- my child sold that many boxes. Yeah. Wow. So, is she, like... Like the top free agent, like on the yeah. like, hey, we need no, her in more, our tribe. There's more. There's girls who sell more cookies than that. Really? Normally in the fall, they do like a fall product. She's always the top seller in the fall product. But for um, cookies, she's in the top 10%. That's awesome. Even still, that's huge because yeah. I, I, you know, like LeBron James, he's a free agent. He's like, I've decided to take my talents to, you know, Kenyon's yes. like, okay. I've decided. I've decided to take my my talents to. I'm going to L.A. You know, yeah, she well, moved she, up to Los Angeles. <laughs> she, um, no, we've been at the same trip the whole time. And this last Loyalty. year, we, this last <laughs> year we went to Destin, Florida, and we spent all the dollars that we had earned over you know the past four years. Yeah, and it was a lot of fun. We got to swim with dolphins. We got to go to the beach. We got to do all kinds of. I mean, it was a great. The 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 troop leaders. I just handled the cookies, but the other troop leaders, they really organized a really fun trip for the girls. That's cool. Yeah. Um, I so yeah, cookie season. Do. Cooking, cookie season will be back in January. You know where you have to cool. hit up first. Well, we're not selling Kurt. this year. You're Kens- retiring. It's it's done. Kensington is retired from Girl Scouts, so I will direct you. <laughs> He's Kurt's done. He's out. <laughs> hey, I can direct you to the troops that will be selling cookies. Even It'll Michael Jordan a- couldn't play forever. You know, Kenzie he- has decided to go into drama, so she's she's focusing it- her attention. I need Girl Scout cookies. So I've, got, I've got the plug. Connect. I've got you. We get, we'll, we'll, we'll send you with, to the right uh, people. Isn't that like a big decision to quit? Kid? To quit? Like to stop? Is that or it's just? She made the decision. I, I always tell the kids that they can pick one activity yeah. and do it really successfully. Mm-hmm. And when they can't devote all their time to that one activity, then it's time not to do it anymore. Awesome. So she decided that, that she didn't want to do it anymore and devote, devote her time to that and wanted to utilize her resources better. So she decided that that's what she was going to do. So Fine. she's doing dance and drama and choir and she, wants, of dance, she wants to act. Speaking of dance, um, good. hashtag I saw like the Kinsey challenge. Oh yeah, that yeah, was great. That's that was thing. her. Yeah. She wants, she likes cool kids to act and yeah, the cool kid challenge. She liked to, she likes to act and she likes to dance and she likes to goof off and she doesn't get that from her mama. <laughs> as long as you have cake balls and not cookies, we're okay. So how much longer There's can both. we order can cake balls? Both. Well, we have them for right now, probably until the restaurant gets operational. Yes. So soon. Ish. Yes. Ish. So a- after like next week when we're done with the challenge, the first thing I can eat is cake balls? And then you're going to be sick. You're going to be sick. Maybe you start like smelling the cake I'm like ball. Itching. I just need like, to lick I'm the like, chocolate. I'm like in. itching here. I'm like, please give me cake balls. Wow. Well, I'll get you like two of them so you don't like make yourself really, really ill. Two each day. Well, if you can portion yourself <laughs> that way, then great. But oh, man. it'll last you six days for a box. Yeah, we have a couple minutes left. So, with uh, with the nonprofit, what's the next thing like on the calendar? What's coming up next? We have something so cool. So we're partnering with a lady named Kelly Redinger, and she is a phenomenal community member. And we're going to be doing this. Um, last year, she partnered. She partnered with a different nonprofit, and they asked local businesses to donate gift cards and you didn't have to be like a restaurant or a spa you could be a realtor and go get a starbucks gift card but they collected about six thousand dollars worth of gift cards and they raffled a christmas tree full of these gift cards and they made about ten thousand dollars off the raffle and then one person wants it was like a five dollar ticket and Mm -hmm. then you won a six thousand dollar tree of gift cards like that's a really great trade-off for how much 
So um, this year she's partnering with Chef Tables Charity, Chef's Table Charities. I could have made that less plural. <laughs> and um, and we're going to be working together to do that. So um, right now we're working with the family of Riley Garcia to help finish out his home. He was one of the um, Santa Fe heroes that held the doors so that several kids lived because Riley gave up his life. And so we're working with his family. They're building out a house and we're trying to finish out that house. And we're still working with the students who were in the art room and just um, we're going to quarterly take them to Dave & Buster's to go goof off. That's, That's awesome. awesome. And um, there's several. I mean, we we bought school supplies for about 10 families this year and um, sent, you know, got them school supplies. And uh, we've got so we've got all these really cool projects. You can go follow Chef's Table Charities on Facebook, kind of see what we're doing, um, see what we got going on. But really, my, my focus right now is the kids... Um, who are in the art room or near the art room, just supporting them and making sure that they they know that they've got people who love them. And, awesome. Yeah. We love it too. Thank you so much for joining us today. Oh, man. This was a lot of fun. It was a blast, and we'll have to get it on the calendar we'll again. Back. No, we're already gone. Every, third Tuesday of every month, yeah. I'll be here. We're all the way set through January. till yeah. forever. Forever. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, so she's on next Next Tuesday, the next Tuesday is Tuesday the 18th. Hey, my birthday would be like three days after that. He wants cake balls, apparently. That's he's like all the grasshopper cake balls. <laughs> oh, that's fine. No, we can't celebrate it though. If I celebrate my birthday, then I turn 30. That's the way it works. That's how. You but don't if I get don't celebrate it, then I don't turn 30. That's, that's not the way not it works. How it works. <laughs> <laughs> it's the top of the hour. You're listening to KHEA Radio 99.5 FM. This has been Kickstart. We had an awesome show. What's going on tomorrow? Tomorrow we have Danny Lee, the foodies. All over the place in studio. We also have Cindy Vargas. Is that his official title? The foodies of everything. The foodies of all over the place. I like it. Foodies I'm of all over to, the place. I'm the omnipresent tell foodie. And then we also have Cindy Vargas, who will be teaching us a little bit about CPR as school goes back into session. Yeah, this is KHEA Radio 99.5 FM. And we'll see you tomorrow morning at our new time, 8.30 a.m. This has been Kickstart. All right. Bye, guys. We love you. Thank you, bye, everybody. Chef Mary, for coming in whoop, today. Whoop. Later, Facebook and YouTube and podcasts.